Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Yes, I'm running a little bit late. Thank you for pointing that out. Have you do hear noises because I had something clicked. Hopefully it's not too loud. Uh, the adjustment for sound is outside of the game. It's in the launcher, so I'd have to shut it down and restart it in order to adjust that. So let me know how the <clears throat> laseries and stuff sound. Um, let's see. And hopefully I might have to adjust the, the layout camera and stuff like that because I'm not sure what that covers up. I only made a scene for it and then ran. Turn off your fire notification. Yeah, good call. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that right now. Uh, timers. Let us uncheck that as active. That's really all I have to do. Just click that, click that, and then click that. So, there we go. <laughs> How's it going? Check out the shirt. Loving this shirt. Uh, I won this uh, last uh, last week. They did. Um, uh, Travis uh, did a a stream uh, like two or three. You were at, you were there, huh? Number two, nice. Hey, wizard. How's it going? Uh, I won this. Uh, they did a stream early last week. I don't remember when it was. It got here really fast, so I was pretty pretty shocked. Um, that, uh, that I got here so quickly, which is really freaking awesome. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it, it's, I love it. I absolutely love the shirt. <laughs> it's fantastic. <clears throat> A little add addition to my collection of, of uh, cool t-shirts. Um, but yeah, they, they did a random drawing uh, a couple of times uh, during the stream uh, to give out uh, give out some stuff, shirts and hats and things like that uh, to hype up the uh, the upcoming Rebel Galaxy Outlaw that I'm sure I will spend an awful lot of time talking about. <clears throat> Let's see. Had to take off about 15 minutes. Just popped in to take the second bean spot and then lurk. Alrighty, Hap. Cool, cool, man. Six days ago, you received a cryptic message from your Aunt Juno, the family black sheep who you haven't seen or heard from in over 10 years. The message provided the access codes to the Rasputin, a near derelict spacecraft and a relic of her younger days. Also included were the coordinates to Rust City, an out of the way space station with a questionable reputation. I like questionable she practically begged you to meet her there as quickly as possible. Now, after several days of travel and a few unscheduled maintenance stops, you have at last arrived. This is a place of liars and thieves. You wonder how you let yourself get dragged to such a godforsaken backwater. Hell yeah. <laughs> the, uh, so a little bit of uh, background uh, for the upcoming, uh, for the upcoming game. Uh, the, the ant that, uh, that they, they talked about there, uh, Juno, is the main character in the new game that's coming out. It's, it's a prequel of sorts. Um, and then, and the biggest difference between this and the prequel is that this one is two-dimensional like naval combat, broadside combat. Whereas the new one that's coming out is going to be smaller ships with full 3D flight. Um, and it is, uh, it's gonna be, I, I've seen I've seen about five, well, a total of six hours actually. Uh, I think five or six hours of gameplay uh, from it because he streamed it a couple of times and he, um, they put out a like a gameplay walkthrough. What is that weird device on the screen? I know, right? It's it's kind of a, a strange strange thing. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> uh, let's see. I think this is still a thing. <laughs> We know. We know you got one. <clears throat> so, lies. <laughs> yeah, you got one, but you never use it. 
Um, so let's see, does this have... Oh, this does have a, a audio settings inside the game. Okay. Uh, mute sound, no. Mute music, yes. And, okay. Here is also one of the largest differences between this and the new one that's coming out. This one, all of the music in it is music that will get you tagged for copyright uh, infringement. And it sucks because the soundtrack in this game is fantastic. The new one, they are... How is there a y-axis? For the turrets. For, for turrets, because you can, you can turn turrets up. Um... Anyone that plays keyboard and mouse and plugs a keyboard and mouse into their console and says they're a PC player. Well, but you know, to be perfectly honest, these newer, these like most recent gen uh, consoles, I can't deny that they're, they're pretty damn close to, I mean, hell, the Xbox uses Windows 10. It's a simplified version, but it's Windows 10. I still don't think they should call themselves PC players because it's not a PC, it's a console. But, so I, I see your point. And, and maybe killed is a too, too strong of a term. Um, slapped and corrected, perhaps. But, <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, so the, 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 one of the biggest differences is that uh, Double Damage has gone, uh, the developer of the game, uh, has gone above and beyond uh, the call and given most of the music oh yeah the Xbox One can't come close to the PC in performance no definitely not definitely not because they don't have I mean their video cards are old you know the the GPUs that are in those consoles have not kept up to the times and what you've got a 1080 don't you have But, uh, and I've only got a 1050 Ti, but it's still pretty smoking in, in comparison to what the consoles are running. Because those are, what, four, four years, three, four years old now? I don't know. I'm throwing numbers out. But anyway, so the music, uh, the music in the new one, almost all of it is licensed within the game. So streamers and content creators are going to be able to stream most of the music in the game without um, without running into copyright infringement problems so you can you'll be able to to stream and create YouTube videos and and all that stuff and most of the music is licensed so that it won't ping um, twitch to mute it or um, YouTube to, to you know flag the video for copyright and there were, there's more than, I think he said that there was something like more than 22 or 24 hours of music uh, in Rebel Galaxy Outlaw, and that most of it is licensed, and there's going to be, uh, in the, the settings, there's going to be a checkbox for, um, for streamers and content creators to flag out the music that is not licensed. So, I mean, they're really, these guys, there's only five of them. Uh, and they are really locking down the the little things. Um, I mean, they're they're really they're nailing it. They're really nailing it. And I try as hard as I can not to get super hyped about a new game coming out because, quite frankly, I've been disappointed in recent recent months. Hey, Riller, how's it going? Uh, and, and so, it's hard not to, with this. This guy appears in the prequel, too. Uh, let's see, okay, your aunt asked me to keep an eye out for you, see you found her old ship, bring it to the dock, meet me at the bar, I have something for you. Uh, who are you? Why am I on the screen? Jala the squid, yes. <laughs> Zoo. Old friend of your aunt's back in my younger, wilder days. Now I own the bar and life is quieter. Oh. Yep. Teeny Jedi. Okay. 
Welcome to Rebel Galaxy. First, you're going to want to get comfortable maneuvering your ship. Tap A to increase throttle in 25% increments. B to reduce it. Use L to steer. Next, you want to dock. Use R to look around. Fly close enough. Context prompt will let you know when you can hold A to dock. From there, visit the bar. Find out what he has to say. Okay. Accelerating to satellite. It didn't appear for you? Huh. Uh, his um, his stats uh, for his rig, he's got a uh, 1080 GTX, 32 gig of RAM, an i7-6800, 750 gig on an SSD, and a 2 terabyte drive on a standard mechanical. Collision warning. Collision warning? Okay, fine. And so the new one, uh, RGO, is going to have uh, a more uh, detailed system for when you uh, when you land on a, a base or something, and uh, it is a it's an expanded system. They've added uh, an eight ball game of a, like a functioning pool table. Uh, and then uh, uh, dice poker, uh, there's a video slot machine, and then there's a, um, a game kind of like Asteroids uh, that, uh, that you can play. And apparently once you get to, once you hit a top score in the Asteroids game, it unlocks a quest much in the line of The Last Starfighter, which I'm just... That tickles me. That was one of my favorite, favorite movies. Love that movie. Yeah. Yeah, 60, uh, 60 refresh rate is, is fine because the human eye can't really see a difference in anything higher than that. I see people who are... You know, on this i on this idea that 120 or GTFO. Hey, hyper! Thank you so much. I hope hopefully you're having a great lunch. How are you doing today? Let's see. Has two turret mounts, only one installed. Go to the equipment bay, purchase a new scatter turret. Okay, I could do that. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. I gotta visit the bar. I gotta. I gotta remember how to play this game. It's been a little while. Uh, I finished it recently. Uh, went through all this. Uh, finished up the storyline. I had a big old monster ship, and it was awesome. Uh, but I figured I'd start up a brand new one. It's about about to end. You had a lo loaded baked potatoes. Mmm. Now I dare market to change the stream title to Lunchtime Love. <laughs> but, but, but... <laughs> with, all the, with all the emotes and everything. So it said I needed to buy a scatter turret. So we'll throw one of these on here. Secondary. Let's see if there's anything I can buy here. Flat cannons. There isn't, apparently. an ordinance and this is the bar and they've uh, they've done this thing um, Howie uh, is one of the I think he's the environmental artist for the game and he for for RGO and he's created a bunch of like uh, uh, like your ship computer is an amigo you know, like a, a throwback to the Amiga. Um, you get uh, uh, like all this this um, uh, like DOS based boot screens and stuff like that when you get into your ship. It's it's really really cool. Um, Ride is here. Try to get back to you before the end. Alrighty, Hap. Good luck out there. If you are doing what I think you're doing, seriously, seriously, good luck. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's meet Orzu. Mondo Cambiso Juno. 
Fondo Copaldo. Okay, spinning image, Juno, good to see you. Uh, again, Juno is the main character in uh, Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. Aaron, how's it going? Lunch timer just went off. All righty. Have fun, Hyper. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you later. Thank you for dropping in. I really appreciate it, even if you can only be here for a second. Uh, let's see. Doing good, just spreading hearts <laughs> and noise. Excellent, excellent. Oh, okay. Oh, and, and check out my new shirt. Buckshots. I won this on their uh, on their their stream, uh, Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. They did like two hours, two solid hours of gameplay, and uh, uh, last week, and they did um, uh, they did a little you know random roll and chat to to give some stuff away, and and I won this shirt. I'm really excited about that. So where is my aunt? She was supposed to meet me here. Sure, sure. Just tell me where my aunt is. You know what? I don't have time for this. Um, okay, so where is my aunt? Um, Where the hell do I go? Um, okay, Let's see, to be honest, I don't know. I haven't seen her in nearly a week. She was afraid she wouldn't make it back before you arrived. Why do you say that? Let's see. Because uh, she gave me something to give you on her behalf. Why would she have done so if she was expecting to be present? Hmm, what is it? Maybe it'll tell me how to find her. Cat! Damn it, I just swept that floor. Pain in the ass. <laughs> that may be. She called it a specter, although I doubt it's a proper name. Juno mentioned that it's some sort of AI symbiote, whatever that means. I see. <laughs> Zazabonda. It's a trap. Yes, I agree. It is totally a trap. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, as to your aunt, frankly, you're in no shape to find her. That's the Rasputin part to the hangar, isn't it? I hate to say it, but times have changed since that was a worthy ship. What do you mean? No <laughs> Got no deflector, no tractor beam. That hull plating is like paper. And to be frank, your weapon systems are practically pop guns. No offense. <laughs> Any suggestions? Can I, I can get you an upgrade or two. Juno would never forgive me if I sent you off to your inevitable doom. I can't afford to let it go for nothing. I've got a little something you can help me with in exchange. Of course. Of course. Of course. whiskey in mm, the grill. Grill whiskey. Uh, let's see. My supplier, however, seems to have gotten himself into hot water and can't come near the station. I'll give you the payment. And if you can make the exchange, I'll have something for you when you return. Okay. Hando, Why not? Hando, beef hundro crate, this sounds completely a up and up. Ransom coal. Rent of a whiskey book and a motto land boy. Excellent. Here's 500 credits. And the coordinates where you'll meet him. His name is Branson Cole. He should be waiting for you. Bring the whiskey back. You'll get squared away. We'll get you squared away, and I'll have some more information as well. All right, let's do it. Um, I'm gonna ignore the uh, the news board and the uh, mission board for right now, just to kind of move along on the storyline. Let's see if I remember how to play this. Missions are marked as gold diamonds on your screen and radar. Just you're heading to point towards your destination. As you move farther away from large objects, you will accelerate the sublight and warp capability will become available. Warping allows you to navigate vast distances very quickly. View your stellar map to get a better view of potential destinations and routes. All right. Engines at maximum. Sublight boosters depleted. 
Accelerating to sublight. Accelerating to sublight. And normally there would be some pretty slick music playing and it's unfortunate that you can't do it because it mute in the VOD, but... Nebula interference detected. Float through the nebula and get a little bit of money for discovering it. Uh-oh, whoops. Uh-oh. Threat level, orange. These foes are too difficult. Escape and live to fight another day. Really looking forward to the licensed soundtrack and the new one. That, that that was honestly one of the things that really locked that in for me. Lost, mate. Uh oh. <laughs> Fresh meat. Red level. Red. Uh oh. Accelerating. Running. 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 Pulse function, press Y to detect distant objects and resources. Be notified of bounties and scan range. Mission important icons will be marked with an exclamation to indicate the status. Hostile and friendly targets will appear as red and blue diamonds. Cargo or valuables will appear as purple. Non-piloted mission objects will appear as gold containing question mark. And asteroids containing harvestable resources will be marked with gray diamonds. Okay. Nebula interference detected. Threat level blue. Incoming hail. Collision warning. Hey there. Or as you send you, you got my payment. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll just pay him because I don't think I want to make this guy angry with my Great paper ship. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay, so one cargo. Okay, receive cargo grill whiskey times one. Okay. Mission right. complete. I don't have mining lasers, so I can't. Accelerating. Get the. Uh, can't mine asteroids sublight. yet. Accelerating to sublight. Warp <coughs> inhibited by hostile attack. <coughs> <Pardon. clears throat> Turrets are an important part of combat, capable of firing. Uh, at targets, your broadsides can't reach. Use up and down on the D-pad to switch between the stations on your vessel. Allow you to manually control individual turret groups. I've never really done that. Uh, I've tried it a couple of times, and I I tend to miss an awful lot and fly into things. So I, I generally let the turrets just go. <clears throat> when controlling a turret group, use R to aim the reticle. When you're a valid target, it'll snap to the target and follow it automatically. Hold right trigger to continuously fire to fire a turret. You can also alter the behavior of your turrets in the tactical menu. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, 
Okay, so it'll it'll go at any craft. Okay, cool. That works. Exiting sublight. Threat level red. Yeah. I can't really get into a fight with these things yet. Missiles inbound. Sport shields down. Ow. Ooh. Wow. Satellite boosters defeated. Uh oh. I think they're gonna destroy me. Aft shields down. Whew. That hurt. Accelerating to sublight. Ouch. Found the AI menu for turret behavior surprisingly robust for this sort of game. Yeah, indeed. I would have to agree. Fourth and third day by hostile craft. Threat level mm, leave orange. Me alone. <laughs> Larger, uh, the larger dots are big ships like mine. The smaller ones are fighters. And in a lot of cases, the fighters are harder to beat because the uh, they move a lot faster. But uh, that's what turrets are good for. Threat level blue. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I think the command you're looking for is top. That'll tell you the top beam counts. Mission complete. All right, ninety-two hundred bucks for the whiskey. Okay, let's see. Repairs needed. Let's go and repair this thing. <laughs> Repairs complete. And these are some of the other ships that you can buy. Had that one for quite a while. Use that one for a little bit. I like the Vanguard. That one was fun. And the Manticore. This thing is just a beast. It's slow, but damn, does it pack a punch. <clears throat> okay. Um. Senso, ando so po yopotara und tranten. Zandoboji no tronta und jitunda in rasputin. Okay, thanks for your help. I've got two options, deflector and attractor beam. Deflectors are defense and attractor beam to bring objects into the hold. Um, I think I'm going to take the tractor beam and buy a deflector. All right, so that's Yes, of course, but I was hoping I might trouble you for a quick favor. Another one? Given how deftly you handled the exchange, well, tell me about it, I suppose. Need them disposed of at no real risk to you. Hmm. Let's see, how many ways could this go wrong? <laughs> okay, so we gotta go and destroy those. I'm gonna leave the bar. Because the news board is really going to tell me about, like, pirate lords and stuff, but I cannot take one of those on yet. Uh, let's check out the equipment bay. Check defense. See if there is a deflector. Yes, there is. Can't afford any of that. any of that um, hmm. 
Okay, so this is in the system and it is a low risk. But this will earn. Let's go ahead and accept that. Let's accept that. Let's accept that. Why not? It'll give me standing with the citizenry and I don't care about the double jack thugs. They can they can all bite it. <clears throat> all right. So let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Little bits of stuff floating in space. I like that. Uh, so that's the primary mission cleanup. Let's go ahead and do that first. Engines at maximum. Now that I've got a the shield. Accelerating the sublight. Okay, it's the right bumper to activate that. Distress beacon. Nope. Distress beacons are very, very frequently pirates faking distress. Ah, hi. Collision warning. Uh, and they, the pirates love to um, to fake a distress call and ambush you. Stick will actually like give you breaks. Accelerating to sublight. Warning. Oh, that used to be a big ship. Accelerating to sublight. Exiting sublight. Collision warning. Mission complete. There we go. Got rid of that guy. Oh no. Accelerating to sublight. Exiting sublight. Enemy craft inbound. Uh oh. Collision warning. Target locked.
Target locked. <clears throat> Satellite boosters depleted. This is getting too hot for me. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> Damn double jacks. Yes, yes, yes. Mission complete. Target destroyed. Collision okay. warning. Okay. And that is a contraband thing, so I'm gonna leave it there. <clears throat> I don't like getting in trouble with the law. Collision warning. I don't have a mining laser, so I can't do that yet. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> I should have... Where's my mission log? Here we go. All squared away. Just got to go back and talk to him. Uh, this is... This is closer. So I'll go ahead and target that. Exiting sublight. Go to that base and deliver my soy paste. Mmm, soy warning. paste. Accelerating to sublight. Yes. Yes. Or not. Fine. Jaws. Here you go, Jaws. No cats? Okay. No. They don't care. <laughs> Fly through these nebula just to get the. Oop, I missed it. <clears throat> no, no distress beacons. <laughs> it's a trap. And as you progress through the game, you get, you know, obviously you get faster, bigger, uh, bigger and faster ships with more firepower, and you can make these trips a lot quicker. And <clears throat> there are multiple systems. I think there's like 39 or 40 systems in RGO, which uh, expands on the ones in this. System map, and then uh, let's see. Yeah, there's the whole beam lasers OP. <laughs> yeah, I do like the beams. I'm looking. Uh, hey, Shaw, how's it going? How you doing today? Oh, we're gonna avoid that mess. Ow. The hell, man. Why are these guys all pissed off at me? Sublight boosters depleted. What the frick? Is this station pissed off? Is that... Uh-oh. Yeah. I think, uh... I think these guys are angry at me. It's like a blockade. Engine oh no yeah, the impaired. blockades. Collision warning. Engines impaired. Okay. Mission complete. I was I was worried that I wasn't gonna be able to land there. <laughs> that would have sucked. Okay. Yeah, I forgot uh, that you'll find stations that are in uh, that are, are under contention that. Um, Scalpel is still sharp today. Did you did you cut yourself again? Damn, Shaw, don't get any 
don't don't go near a sharp object. Well, wait a minute. Aren't you studying to be a dental assistant? That's not good. <laughs> That's a little rough. Stabbed. Oh my goodness. Shaw. That sucks. I am so sorry to hear that. Uh, let's see. Pulse cannons. Can I buy anything for this yet? Oh, I can't. Incoming fighters and... Oh, yeah. Flat cannons. Okay. I think I will get... I'll go cheap. And install one of those. That way I don't have to worry too much about ordnance. Because you can get missiles and stuff, but then they use ammunition that you have to replenish, and I prefer it just to run off energy if I can uh, if I can swing it. Uh, definitely gonna mm, maybe not, because that only increases it by four, and that is. lot of money right now can't afford a jump drive I don't think I can afford any of the extras no they're all way too expensive okay let's see swarm missiles are very that's true they are and in the second one uh, in rebel galaxy outlaw when uh, when Travis has used the swarm launcher it has kind of made me a little gooey <laughs> it looks so good yeah, definitely they are. I love the swarm missiles. Very uh, Robotech uh, inspired. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop out of here. I didn't mean to leave the station entirely, but that's okay. Yeah, definitely Macross. Yes, yes, yes. Engines are no longer impaired. Let's see if I can get out of here without blowing myself off. Engines at maximum. Accelerating to sublight. Threat level, yellow. Stellar map. See, this is under attack boom. That's an archaeological find. A huge celebration. Pirate Lord sighted. Oh, dear. Wow, there are quite a few of them out here, aren't there? Oh, that's not that's not what I thought it was. I, th I keep I always mistake these for pirate lords, but they're just outposts. It's been a little while. <laughs> Sublight boosters depleted. I uh, I actually uh, the how I came across this game is kind of crazy. Uh, there was a, a game being offered in a humble bundle that I wanted. And this one was offered with it. And uh, I think it was, was it Galactic Civilizations, maybe? And it was super cheap. And they, you know, I, I paid for the whole bundle. I got the whole, you know, the whole deal because I think the one that I wanted was at the top tier of the bundle. And uh, can you get positive standing with all factions? I don't think you can. Uh, I think the way that uh, the way that it works is that if you start getting a positive standing with one faction, it will inevitably piss off another. Satellite boosters uh, It has been a while, but um, yeah. The uh, let me go ahead and take care of this because I was supposed to do this one. Um, was I thinking? Exiting sublight. I don't remember what I was Port thinking. shields down. Uh oh. You can absorb damage with deflector. Deflectors engage, can't fire weapons, but almost 100% of damage will be absorbed. Has limited capacity, drains over time. Nebula interference detected. I won't forget this. Yeah, we're fine. Sublight boosters depleted.
Disruptors depleted. Oh good, there's a, somebody helping me here. Indeed, thank you for your assistance, because I was about to get flattened. <laughs> Interference detected. Hailing. What can I do for you? Yeah, we can do business. What'd you have in mind? Here's what I know. Juno Border will pay. Yeah, well, just about everybody will pay good money yeah, for Yeah, we can artifacts. do business. What'd you have in mind? <clears throat> Take care, friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we can go back Religion here. Warning. Uh, don't run into me. Sublight boosters depleted. The dots jiggle when you speed up. Yeah, well, and see, in, in, a, uh, in a lot of cases, what the, the radar is wobbling like that, because there's some sort of interference caused by the nebula that's scattering the radar. It's pretty neat. It's, uh, and, and I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, it was only two people that made this game. Yeah. Exiting sublight. Because they, he was talking about how they more than doubled um, the the amount of people that are working on this uh, for the new one, and they have five people uh, creating Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. <clears throat> but these are some really talented guys. They are like uh, I follow uh, Howie Day. Uh, on uh, Twitter, and he is constantly putting up um, uh, CG stuff that he's making uh, in like a in a Star Wars theme that he's been working on. And my God, they in fact uh, a little bit of trivia: they pitched a game to Disney, I think, um, to try to create. A, they wanted to build. Um, a Star Wars game, uh, and they wanted to make it basically what RGO, what Rebel Galaxy Outlaw is, is what they were going to do in a Star Wars theme, and Disney told them, nah, we're, we're not interested, and so they're like, all right, fine, well, then we'll make our own, we'll make our own game, and, uh, oh, my goodness, it is, it looks so good. If you haven't seen anything about it yet, um, You'll have to you'll have to go and, and check it out because it it looks really good. They have they built into the into RGO. They built in a fully functional paint shop program, and it is. I mean, let's put it this way: shop. You know how you know that he's you know he does stuff with with. Uh, with art you know digital art and he was impressed by the photoshop system or the the by the paint program that they have built in to rgo then again we will get our yes exactly it is a shame that disney turned them down but all in all i think it's better because 
they were heavily inspired by an old game uh, that is that pro I would say in like in all time has to be one of my top five most favorite games that I've ever played, uh, and that would be uh, Privateer. Privateer two. And the June so the Randobot say. <clears throat> you are so reliable. I can see Juno's influence. Thank you again for your help. Okay, favor's done. Now it's time for you to hold up your end. No, no. Randobot send the Juno and send a ready partner. Okay. Track Juno down. You most likely, most likely bet is to speak with Sandar. When Dondos obey Bojum, oh, um, thank you for the host. Wolf, how's it going? Cheers. Let's see. Okay, how much do you know about your aunt's activities? Uh, she was a hell of a trader and made a lot of money out here on the front. That's one way to look at it. Sandar, Mondo Shi, Mondo Scamba, Hando Shotinto, Mondo Jaka. Most folks would call it smuggling, and Xandar moved the goods for her. You should try and get in touch with him. He's at least some... He's at some scabby station at the edge of the system. We'll mark it on your chart. Okay, thanks. I'll check it out. How did the rest of your show go? I think... Uh, do I... Let me... Let's see. I think I've got a... Went well for you? Good. There we go. Haha, I do have a caster command. Woohoo! <clears throat> Let's see. News board, pirate lord sighted. Don't like a pirate lord. Take a seat, friend. What's on your mind? The militia's got its hands full these days. Not enough ships, not enough guns, not enough time. Okay. If you don't already have one, you want to get yourself a tractor system. Easy money, no risk. Okay. Uh, bounties. I got a few here. tips on local bounties, uh, but that information ain't exactly free. Not 100% sure how to work Twitch. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Streaming is hard. Uh, I you know. To you. It's uh it when you watch someone else streaming like, I know when I first, right before I got into it, right before I started streaming, uh, I was watching um, Rin, and I was watching, uh, who else was I watching? I was watching a couple other people. Um, Meowsifer, a couple of Trove people. Uh, and then I, I, you know, I thought, I had a couple of friends of mine, uh, my family members were telling me, you should, you should stream. You sit in front of your computer all day anyway playing the game you might as well you know stream it I'm like yeah that's okay so I, you know i watched a couple of streamers to see what they do and you know did some research on it to find out you know what kind of things i'm supposed to be doing and stuff like that and they all make it look so easy and it's not <laughs> i mean hell i even added in a third monitor. I was running on two monitors before. Now I'm running on three because that way I can run my stream labs over here and I can run chat and I can run discord over here and I can run the game on the mid monitor and, and it, it, you know, a little bit more real estate and you know, three monitors is great. And now that I have three, I can't imagine going back to two. Uh, when I was only running on two monitors, one of them blew up and I was using this old monitor that I had uh, for a while and and I tried streaming on one monitor at one point in time and that is just damn near impossible you have one 32 inch TV and a tablet see and that as long as you've got you know two as long as you've got something to run the game and then some place to run everything else it's it's okay it's not too bad but uh, now that I've got three monitors I cannot imagine myself going back to two <laughs> see i cannot afford a new ship i would love to afford a new ship but that's okay we'll we'll make some money uh let's try the mission board and see what's available here uh required a tractor beam see so an independent agent to retrieve a dead drop package contains critical logistical information retrieve the package and return it for an immediate cash reward uh, all righty 
have fun with your lurk and enjoy the lunch. I didn't eat before this, but you know, I'm almost out of coffee and there is beer. <laughs> I might have to I might have to to jump into the bottle here. I don't know. Okay, this is a high difficulty, high risk mission. I'm not going to touch that. Uh, Horry section dropped out of contact. Miners insurance issues a 6900 credit. Survey the asteroid belt and make sure they're safe. An average risk. I'm going to take the very low ones because I still have um, a very uh, a very poopy little ship. <laughs> okay, so let's go and take care of those. Uh, I am sitting on 12, almost 13,000 credits. What is my... Check the commodities market because I've only got ten spaces of uh, of of hold to keep stuff. Wow, they want a lot of money for that. Okay. But if I could find the place that's selling tachyon salt for 9500 that would be fantastic, because then I could just buy that, sell it here. Uh, Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go and blow some stuff up. And... Closest mission is going to be... Double trouble. Engines at maximum. Dun, 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 dun. Accelerating to sublight. I sure could use your help. the food you wanted to cook. <laughs> well, you'll get no judgment out of me because I'm at the age where I walk into a room and then ask myself, what the hell am I doing in this room? So, yep. You sure pulled my ass out of the fire. You got my thanks. Mm-hmm. Badly. Accelerating to sublight. Okay, what was the closest mission? Sublight. That one. Accelerating to sublight. Tweet. Jumped out too early. 
firmly in a box. It was hiding on top of shelves in a bag. Oh no. Uh oh. Jeez. Could have popped that somewhere. I really could have, like, waited before you. Jeez. Blowing up an asteroid right in front of me. Depleted. Come here. You don't get to shoot at me and then run away. Collision warning. I'm fine. Accelerating to sublight. Smart mouse. Can. Uh. Is he getting shot up? Accelerating to sublight. Oh, no, he's fine. Exiting sublight. Nebula interference detected. Mm -hmm. Boosters depleted. Mm. Why, thank you. Okay, so was that the mission? Mission log. I guess it wasn't. Oh yeah, because we uh, we stopped. And... Okay. Yeah, I am pretty far away from that one. Primary mission, double trouble. Is that one finished? Yeah, because they're both, they both have the same name. Hmm. Gotta do some stuff before you can sit and watch, so be back soon. Thanks, Sergeant. Thank you very much. Exiting sublight. Good luck with real life. Hopefully you can get back here soon. <laughs> uh, let's see. Because this is... That's got because that's grayed out, so it's got to be. Thank you very much for the follow. I tip my cup. It's got to be. Uh, I think that one's completed. I think that's what that means. It's been a little while since I've played this, so I, I got to get used to it again. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here because I'm pretty sure when it's grayed out, that means it's done because it's not. Um, 
it's not in my mission list anymore. Warp speed. Fly through the nebulas for the discovery. I've already gotten that one, apparently. What you doing, Jaws? Come here. Come here. Come here, cutie pie. Oh, I got jump cat and tummy. Oh, I got jump cat and tummy. They're getting really big. <laughs> What you doing, little man? Hmm? Come here. <laughs> That's what she said. Ha ha ha. Womp womp womp. Okay. You are prohibited by Stellar Mass. Yeah. Stellar Mass. Nebula interference detected. No. Starboard shields down. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-
I try not to get hyped up for games because I've been disappointed in, in the past year at stuff that I was really excited for and it ended up being kind of meh. And uh, they're making it really hard not to get super excited. They're making it damn hard for baristas and politicians. That's true. Or people pretending to be politicians. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, did I say that out loud? Anyway, how's it going, Sid? How you doing today? <laughs> Iceberg, yes. Don't we all wish it was released? I am uh, I'm excited. I am very excited. I, I'm even, I'm wearing my, uh, the shirt that I won last week on their stream. I was really thrilled. I'm doing pretty good. I can't complain too much. Okay, let's go and get this. Yeah, it, it's it, it's nice. It's a nice shirt. It's a really nice shirt. I was pretty stoked at winning it. I was really excited. So, yeah. And it's, it's an armadillo, which, you know, I live close enough to Texas that, uh, that it's, you know, fitting <laughs> got the uh the coyote poster from the stream oh i am so jealous i am so jealous i love the shirt don't get me wrong love the shirt very 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 happy very appreciative that i want it but that poster oh <laughs> congratulations on that because that is hot that ship is beautiful huge blueprint hanging on your wall oh god that that's awesome that is awesome mission complete they didn't did they sign it by any chance just you know for for giggles no oh, that's okay that's all right still good still Computers really good complete. i would uh whether signed or not it is still super awesome i've seen the the print it was sent directly from the supplier that makes sense yeah i think this was too because it was in a bag in a bag and it had the uh the store label on it and everything but uh still nonetheless signed or not it's still freaking awesome i've seen the the print of the the blueprint of that oh, oh. and if i had if i had throwaway money i would totally buy one for the wall behind me because it is gorgeous. Uh, let's see. I do not have the ability to buy another ship, so I'm going to ignore that for right now. Commodities. I'm just going to sell this stuff off, regardless of how much money it's for. It was all free. Surprised you were able to convince your wife to allow you to hang it. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, I was actually kind of shocked uh, on the back of uh, on the inside of our bedroom door. Um, I hung the uh, the defiance uh, poster uh, that was on display at uh, our GameStop. Uh, they had a you know a ceiling hanging uh, for defiance, and uh, and I told the guy when you're no longer hanging that thing, please save it for me because I, I really want it. And uh, it's a little dusty because it's very hard to clean, but I have this from the uh, from the box. Um, like I say, it's dusty. Please forgive me for the dustiness of this, but yeah, I've got the, um, I, kind of, I was kind of a defiance nut and, uh, and the, uh, we got the, the poster hanging on the inside of the bedroom door and I was shocked. She let me put it up there. I'm like, uh, do you mind if I put this on? She's like, no, it's a really neat looking poster and I really like it a lot. And it's sideways. It has to be long. It's a, a long you know, not very tall. It's longer than it is. <laughs> Ladies love hellbugs, <laughs> right? But yeah, it's a, a beautiful piece of art, and she did not have a problem with me hanging it there. So I'm like, bonus. That uh, that works. So, uh, let's see what else do we have in here. Okay, so my, I think the only mission that I have is to track down Sandar. Let's see if there's anything else in the immediate area that I can do that isn't going to get my teeth kicked in. This one isn't too far away. 
Local trader wants revenge against crazed pirate. You can destroy him. The trader will pay you 18. He's alone, but could be dangerous. Why not? Why not? So they do a little bit less damage. Uh, I don't know if I... I think I should probably save my cash for now. A DF launcher? I don't want to be launched. about let's go ahead and replace these i'm gonna i'm gonna replace the yeah i'm gonna sell the scatter turrets and i'm gonna i'm gonna buy swarms for both of these because they are dead sexy uh okay one swarms just for the hell of it just to have have something different on there so i guys playing gta yesterday didn't get a chance to pop in to try out the new missions yeah we uh we played the new missions uh yesterday there's just three of them they're not uh, they're not terribly difficult, but they're also not very very high paying. Wanna play fetch? I have cats that play fetch. Wanna play fetch? Wanna get it? Okay. You gonna bring it back? Most of the time they bring them back. <laughs> Haven't seen them yourself? Yeah, they're not terrible. Uh, I mean, right now they're double payout, and if you're going to play them, I would try them that way. Um, because they're, And there's only three of them. Uh, one of them you have to go into a garage and blow up a bunch of cars, uh, and then all hell breaks loose when you leave the garage. Uh, and then uh, one of them you have to steal four cars from a police station. And that can be a bit of a pain in the ass because, you know, cops don't like you to steal stolen materials, so they um, they kind of get pissed off and chase you. Uh, but yeah, it's it's not bad. They're 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 not terrible. And I think uh, one of them paid out like uh, forty grand, uh, but that you know again was doubled. So if you're gonna try them out, I would try them soon before they're no longer double pay. Engines at maximum. Okay, don't want to go to Sandar yet. I want to go and take care of this first. Accelerating to sublight. Swarm the grid is by hostile flap. Yeah. Swarms. About eight million saves. You're not terribly excited to grind. Just wondering if they're fun. Yeah, they're they are actually. Uh, but I mean, it's you know nothing you haven't done already in one way, shape, or form. There's nothing like groundbreaking about them, uh, other than one is done in a building. Those missiles are very loud, and I do apologize. Let me go ahead and go into system, go into settings, take the sound volume down to 15. Yeah, stop getting shot. I know, right? Meow. Yeah. by hostile class. Shields down. Nebula interference detected. Oh yeah, the flat cannons. I forgot about those when I'm getting missiles fired at me. Double shields down. Mission complete. There we go. Eighteen hundred bucks for that. 
action says it's already been increased by five. Good, good. Okay, so let's go and check out Sandar here. Yeah, I think uh, I bought the uh, Devastate. Howie, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. I love you much. <laughs> How you doing? In fact, I was, uh, were your ears ringing? Because I was just talking about you uh, maybe five or ten minutes ago uh, about uh, the, uh, the the eye candy. Uh, you know, following you on Twitter, you get to see a lot of, uh, a lot of eye candy uh, CGI stuff. It's just mm, delicious, delicious stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, you know, hey, thank you, because <laughs> mm, the stuff that you've been showing off lately is phew, so good. Stalking. Try to do other things to maintain sanity. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Uh, I'm I'm by no means an artist. Uh, I could not do what you do. Uh, but uh, but yeah, that. Uh, that's got to be that's got to be maddening. Um, I mean, I've I've spent an awful lot of time talking to uh, to environment artists and stuff like that. And when I was volunteering my time uh, with uh, Tryon and talking to them about uh, Trove and and Defiance, I could tell that sanity has to be something in um, sparing amounts uh, to do what you guys do for a living. That's nuts. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it's that's that's some crazy crazy stuff. It's great. You just need to occasionally try to solve other problems than what games require. Yeah, it, 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 like a little distraction. I can imagine that it, it's got to be. It's got to be fun. I mean, it, uh, you know, it, in one hand, I mean, it, if you're gonna do something for a job, uh, for a livelihood, to be able to enjoy it. Yeah, and since you love Star Wars, yes, exactly. See, and that's that that's something. We were, in fact, we were just talking about the fact that you guys got, uh, um, you know, that you had, had originally pitched an idea uh, was to Disney, wasn't it? I wasn't sure if I was right about that. Uh, and they're like, now nah, we're cool, and and that is what you know brought about Rebel Galaxy Outlaw, and that you guys are like, screw it, we'll make our own. And in a way, I'm bummed you guys didn't, you know, they didn't take you up on the offer, but I'm also delighted that they didn't, if that makes sense. <laughs> to be clear, they, uh, that was always intended to be a long shot. Well, yeah, I mean, they're, you know, yeah, you know, it, it's not like you walked in there with, you know, shoulders back and like, oh, you should just do this. Yeah, no. Uh, but, you know, you got to take the chance, right? You know, it, the... It's, uh, I'm a big, I'm a big hockey fan and something they say in hockey an awful lot is you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. So that's, uh, that's gotta be, but, uh, yeah, it, you know, like I say, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm bummed that they didn't take you up on it, but I'm also happy that they didn't. <laughs> didn't Michael Scott say that? Michael Scott. Who's Michael Scott? I love working on our own universe. It's got to be easier because you answer to you guys, you know, and, and it's, uh, it's, yeah, the office. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Still waiting for Privateer Grayson's Revenge to be released. <laughs> I, I got to tell you, that, uh, that April Fool's joke was rude. <laughs> uh that was rude. I saw that and I'm like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. You still don't feel remotely bad about that. <laughs> well, I wouldn't either, but it was it was still it, w it hurt a little bit. But then very shortly thereafter, uh, I found out about RGO and I'm like, okay, all right, because this is, you know, it's like the spiritual successor to uh, uh, to privateer and it's uh, it, it's like I've I've said a couple of times. I'm you know, I'm really. It's it's hard to get. It's hard not to get hyped about a game like that 
but it's also you know I've been burned recently in 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 the last year and a half I've gotten really super hyped up over a game and then it released and I played it and I'm like yeah it's yeah, yeah. and you guys are making it really hard <laughs> all the stuff that I've seen so far is just fantastic the uh, the in-game paint program is just insane. I you guys are just <laughs> nuts for that. I I couldn't could not believe it. I've got a, a guy that a friend of mine uh, here is uh, uh, an avid um, uh, Photoshop user, and he dropped in on that uh, on that stream that you know that you guys did recently. And he was blown away uh, by the the power of it. And I'm like, man, it's just nuts. It's just nuts. And I'm I'm dying to play eight ball. <laughs> yeah, you don't feel bad that they made the April Fools. Yeah, it was good. I mean, it was it was bittersweet, you know. And it, uh, oh, and that finally let you use the assets you made for Pioneer ten years later. That's amazing. Truly trying to make it awesome. Yeah, the, the paint program is nuts. I mean, it's like Photoshop built into the game. There's really no other way to describe it. It's uh, and, and so far, everything that I've seen, I mean, I've watched uh, Travis stream it twice now, and then the hour-long uh, hour uh, gameplay walkthrough that he did uh, prior to that, a couple months ago, wasn't it? It was a while ago. Uh, and, and the fact that, uh, you know, I've, I've ha have yet to see the game crash, uh, have yet to see any, you know, any real bugs or anything like that. And I'm sure, you know, every game is going to release with some, it's just a fact it's going to happen. The truly addictive thing is that you can print what you paint. Yeah. See, I'm going to go broke with that. And I both love and hate you guys for it <laughs> because I mean, I've got an affinity. Uh, I have a, a Hellbug model here that I got with uh, with Defiance, uh, and and that was ages ago. And knowing that I can paint up a ship and being being all you know, painted up all 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 sick and and have it be you know exactly what I want it to be with the paint program, and then I can click a couple of buttons and have them 3D print it and mail it to me. That is dangerous. <laughs> Here, let me, uh, I've, I've been teasing it, throwing my wallet at the monitor, just take my money. <clears throat> so, uh, but yeah, that's, it's good. <laughs> Lack of money is going to prevent you from being addicted to that. Yeah, I, I hear you. Yeah, the sound check stream was great. Yep, I'm going to do a quick sound test two hours later. <laughs> that was awesome. Welcome back, Sergeant. How you doing? Something like AutoCAD to make those Coyote and Platypus blueprint posters. Oh yeah, that was those are awesome. Travis, uh, Travis used Blender for those. Oh okay, very cool. Yeah, the uh, those blueprints are just gorgeous. Do you want me to bribe you? Yeah, bribe. <laughs> it's a free 3D program, version 2.8 is out. If you're looking to learn CGI, you can't recommend it enough. That's cool. I uh, I dabbled with um, for for like a voxel editor. Uh, what was it? Um, damn it! Magic of voxel? No, it wasn't that one. Troxel it wasn't Troxel. I can't remember the name of it. For the uh, yeah, Matt, I I did use that one a little bit. Uh, I made a couple of assets. Uh, I made a couple of assets for Trove, uh, and have them in there. And now it matches your Twitter. Oh, okay, very cool. Yeah, this. Uh, how's it going, Dracus? Hopefully, I pronounced that right. Uh, hey, learning the violin. No time for CGI. Yeah, the 
I, I can't play any musical instruments. I, I took uh, I took up the trumpet in like junior high school and it didn't go very well. <laughs> On that note, did you see the added volume metric participating media voxels to Magica? I hadn't. I haven't messed with it uh, recently. I, I made a couple of uh, decoration items uh, a couple of weapons for Trove, but that was like three years ago. Transparent cloud. Oh, that's sick. That is sick. Wow. Oop, let me, uh, let me, sorry about that. Let's see. I give you, uh, give you permission. There you go. Go for it. Not a problem. The very first day that I streamed, I had somebody pop in and, and spam a bunch of very inappropriate links. And right away, I was like, okay, I'm shutting that down. <laughs> I'll check that out here. Whoa. Oh, that is insane. Wow. Ugh. That's nuts. That is nuts. Now let's see if I can, I've got a link here, as long as I'm parked in a station. Uh, <laughs> is that a get off my lawn bot? Yes, that is. I also have, uh, I also have that. Um, <laughs> one of my friends, uh, Smishy made that for me. And let's see if I can find I've just got it. I've got them posted on. Um, uh, on uh, 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 Emger. Let's see if I can. I made a banner for them. This was. Uh, I don't know. I don't think this ever. It was accepted. I believe it was accepted. Uh, but I don't think it was ever. Um, I don't think it was ever installed in the game. I don't think they ever put it in. Interested in Voxels Pixar Art, right, you have one more suggestion. A guy by the name of Resiner has made a program called Sprite Stack. Okay. That is, let's see. Go back. And then, weird that the profits from Halo made it into this game. <laughs> right. Let's see. Where is? No, I don't want the newest. Where's the? Where's my damn list here? I'm an idiot. Nope. Wrong one. The first thing that I ever created. I don't know why it's not giving me my entire list. Probably because it wants me to log in, but that was uh, that was a banner that I made for um, for Trove uh, that link there, and I mean I'm I I dabbled in it. Also, howdy llama juice, how's it going? Yeah, the uh, the they paid out a little bit of their in-game currency if you made stuff, and so I I threw some things in there. Plus, I needed uh, you know if I needed a deco for something that I was building. I figured, you know, I might as well make it, have them put it in the game so that I can do that. Ah, dang it. Okay, why won't it let you do that? Resner. Oh, because it... Stinking bot. That bot is a pain in the ass. <laughs> there we go. And of course my... Uh... No, don't worry about it. You're good. You're good. You're good. Let's see, not a bribe, but dirtier. What an improvement. He'll be doing the entire sector of service. Doesn't sound like I have a choice. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Sendar doesn't speak English either. Yep. Well, and see, that's uh, they they've become in the future they become more tolerant to other people's uh, native languages because in the uh, in the, the the prequel they all speak English and they all sound like Travis. <laughs> but you know, honestly, 
I don't care. He's got such a buttery radio voice. It doesn't matter that he's done a lot of the <laughs> a lot of the voices for it. Yeah, he's amazing at alien languages. <laughs> yeah, definitely. He speaks to himself a lot. Yes. He banged out like a half dozen alien lines and a half. Jeez. That's crazy. That is crazy. Okay, let's leave the bar. Voiceover lines for the Star Wars animation. Oh, really? No kidding. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. I've liked watching the, the progression of it because you've put it up in stages. Um, and the, the, the B-Wing, I've always been a fan of the B-Wing. The B-Wing has always been, I just love that ship. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. He gets a lot of use to the phone booth. Yeah, indeed. It is, it is a beast. Yeah, that ship is nasty. First time you watched the one-hour video back quite a few months ago, I commented he should do audiobooks, and lo and behold, he does. Yes, totally. Yes. Uh, yeah, if you follow, I think uh, your name on Twitch is your is also your Twitter handle, isn't it, Howie? Because if, if you don't already follow Howie on Twitter, do so, because he puts up so much eye candy that is, oh, gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Let's see. Uh... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. There you go. Yes, follow him on Twitter. You will not uh, You will not regret that at all. Yeah, B-Wings are cool, but you gotta... Yeah, the Y-Wing is also pretty awesome. Uh, I, I, have, I like the, the bomber. Uh, it is... Uh, it's fantastic. I've always been a fan. The A-Wing is cute, but they, uh, they get blown up a little too frequently for my tastes. <laughs> But yeah, the, the, the B and the Y. <clears throat> How did the extra E get into your Twitter, Twitter handle? <laughs> e. Okay. Uh, so I got to do something in here because I've just been sitting. Oh, there you go. Oh, middle initial. Nice. Available missions. Let's find out what else is out here. Okay, so that is in favor of the Red Devil Cartel, which I do not care to help out. Uh, menace and her elimination strongly encouraged. Okay, we'll take that. Um, local authorities is offering 1800 to get rid of this guy. Double Jack Thugs have been harassing the Horta Reach area. Travel to both Mark Nav points. Encounter pirates. It says it's a very low risk, so we'll try it. We'll give it a shot. Yes, you can have a permission, of course. None of my um, none of my mods are here to do this stuff for me, so I have to play mod today and uh, most days. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go oh, the nineteen seventies porn stash. <laughs> okay, I gotta see this. Yeah. Yeah, that is that's that is just a, a beautiful, beautiful thing. Let's go let's see. I gotta I gotta mute it so that it doesn't come through too loudly on there. But yeah. Porn stash on a squid. <laughs> that's brilliant. Yeah, that's that is just beautiful. And and you know, might I say, you have a thing for explosions. I mean they're gorgeous, uh, especially in uh, in RGO and the the uh, like the the larger uh, larger ships, um, the uh, uh, like the cargo ships and stuff like that. The explosions that uh, that have been shown off for RGO. Oh my God, they are so gorgeous. Played with firecrackers a lot when you were a kid, didn't you? <laughs> nice. Okay, so I can't afford a ship. I can't really afford anything. So let's just get out of here. Watch Star Wars on repeat. Yep. You know, there's there's worse things that, uh, that that one can spend their time on. That's for sure. The jump gates. Oh yeah, definitely. 
Definitely. Accelerating to sublight. Yeah, that new jump gate animation is is beautiful. <laughs> the nope make it better cycle on explosions. Make them a bit more raw. Need to make another pass on them. Well, you know, uh, you know, if if you feel like you gotta, then then you gotta, you know. Watched Empire at least once a day when I was a kid. Yeah, I'm I'm a big fan. I know that there's a lot of a lot of back and forth. There are a lot of people who don't like Empire Strikes Back that they think that that was a bad one, and I am not one of those people. I love I love that movie an awful lot. Probably more than I should. What you doing, Ferret? Besides walking by me and ignoring me. Check how many revisions the explosions had. It's probably closer to some of those. Yep. Oh well, that's okay. Go out here. The tripped up ATAT -AT explosion was your favorite explosion. Yeah, that one was really good. That one was really good. And it's amazing to go back and look at the special effects in the originals. You know, the un untouched before they they updated. And it's crazy on how good it was anyway. You know, even with the old tech. Someone like you might show up. Who sent you, Sandar? Morgan? Mm, Sandar, if you want to know. That little toad can't be paying you much. Look, this is going to go bad for you. Pay me 800 credits and I'll make myself scarce. And you can tell Sandar whatever you want. Mm, nah, I don't think it's your anybody. funeral. I'm probably going to get blown up here. We'll see. See if you get jumped by a big group of pirates in a mission that was supposed to give you like four grand on your way back. You got this jumped by pirates that did a little four or four damage. <laughs> Yeah, I hate that when you get you get paid a certain you know you get paid four grand and they do more than four grand worth of damage. That happens to me frequently. Used to watch frame by frame catch lasers missing targets or explosions starting early. Yup, I can see that. Empire's the best one of the OGs, and though it's slightly blasphemous, and I'm a good guy supporter. Revenge of the Sith is your favorite. I can't blame you. Can't blame you. It's okay. Missiles inbound. This is getting too hot for me. Oh, uh, I want to keep up on that shield side. Missiles inbound. Well, dead John, now no, you can live up no, to your name. No, no. Swarm Missile. missiles are totally in RGO. Yes. Uh, Travis has shown those off a couple of times, and they are delicious. Revenge uh, of the Sith was most like the originals out of the prequels. Yeah. Yep. Definitely were in the streams that he's done, the Swarm Missiles. All right, so there we go. Explosion revisions, 25 material changes, particle settings, 65 changes, texture changes, 35. Goodness, sir. <laughs> yeah, I think the second stream he did has a lot of the swarm missile uh, launches. Uh, I'm pretty sure first changes as of change number 200. Goodness, that's insane. But hey, you know, if if you don't feel it's right, you gotta, you know, gotta do what you gotta do, right? I I give you a lot of credit for keeping them keeping them straight, cause man, that just that seems like stellar map, way over, <laughs> so far over my pay grade. <laughs> I mean, you know, I did those, uh, I did the, the, the voxel stuff, uh, for, uh, for Trove. I did a couple of, of, uh, of those. And I think my first one, 
uh, my first object took me a total of oh god maybe like 12 or 13 hours to do it it was insane uh, and and then there are people like uh, uh, tribe or um, uh, he was one of the people who volunteered a lot of time in Trove or um, Atronos one of the guys that actually you know worked for the company and he did a couple of streams where he would put together you know he'd just stream making voxel items for the game and he just you know whipping through the uh, the program spinning it you know it just blows my mind how fast of course you know the more you do something the better you get at it and my subsequent items did not take me 12 hours to complete but still it's you know yeah that is uh that isn't that is crazy it's a change number like your internal game version every time one of us push an update the number increments oh okay gotcha that makes sense Man, that is insane. Yep, and that is totally why the explosions are 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 definitely eye candy. And uh, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay, where am I going? I need to need to figure this out. Let's see. Closest mission is gonna be that one there. All right, five thousand two hundred ninety four total changes. You're going crazy, waiting for a certain game. Yes. <laughs> you haven't touched the explosions in a while. That's, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of them uh, in the, uh, what, two hours of gameplay that he streamed the other day, uh, and then the uh, two-hour sound test before that. Um, and they, they look damn good. They look damn good. And you've only got a team of five people working on that, right? Port shields down. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ow. Deflectors depleted. Uh-oh. I'm gonna die. That is a, a bigger ship than I can handle. Uh-oh. <laughs> five full timers? Nice. Satellite boosters depleted. That is insane. Missiles inbound. And if I heard right, it was just two people that made this one. Isn't it? At various points, you had three other artists Missiles working contract. Inbound. That's cool. And have done some awesome work. Yeah, I. It, it looks really good. It looks really good. Deflectors depleted. Shields oh, gonna die. I am Port gonna die. Mm. Yeah, this is supposed to be very low. Oh yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Not good. Gonna die. Systems critical. Six, three, two, one. Pop. <laughs> Dope. There it is. Travis and Eric did most of the work on the original, though they sort of piecemeal contracted out the artwork. That makes sense. Yeah, it read that as a link, and I don't know why. Oh, because of the period. Gotcha. Yeah. <sighs> Such a picky damn bot. <laughs> okay, so I'm at Horizon Outpost. I probably have to go and redo all the stuff that I did before that. It is not Nightbot. It is uh, Streamlabs, um, uh, uh, Streamlabs Chatbot. I was using Nightbot early on, but I found it to be pretty underpowered and kind of, you know, kind of difficult. It's a get off my lawn bot, yes. <laughs> it just read that as a link. And... Uh, because apparently yep dot tra yep dot travis is a website <laughs> it does have a problem with periods without spaces looking like links yeah definitely does 
Okay, so it did the MK2 ceramic. Okay, so there we go. How does it treat this? Like a link. <laughs> nice. Doesn't handle that well either. Indeed. Okay, so let's see. I don't have anything in the hold. We're empty on the hold. I gotta make some money because that was a bad, uh, I wandered into the wrong fight right there. Okay. How about we find out what else is closer? That is not one of the dual duels. That'll learn Sunlight you. Sunlight booster's <laughs> depleted. Collision warning. Engines at maximum. We're fine. You're not going to run into anything. You just... Stinking Accelerate. judgmental computer. Sunlight. Easy to get something... Easy way to get something embarrassing that you said erased. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, the uh, when uh, RGO releases, uh, I've already warned my wife that I'm probably not going to be very communicative uh, or available. Um, <laughs> and the uh, variety part of uh, of the variety streamer is probably going to vanish for a while because uh, I'm I'm stoked. It's hard not to be. hard not to be I think the uh, playing eight ball alone is probably going to take up a, a great deal of my time um, because I am a, a big fan of, of a pool table in real life I play most Monday nights um, a buddy of mine here in town owns a table and uh, yeah I wonder how Travis would feel about me asking for an option to use the old alien voices over his voice acted ones probably won't like it <laughs> like yeah I put a lot of damn work into all those voiceovers you just listen to them and you're gonna like it yep <laughs> he's amazingly swamped right now I can imagine I can imagine satellite boosters depleted and I know he's been uh, he's posted a couple of times he's He's taken, uh, he's been, apparently been taking a bit of flack. Uh, I'm assuming on Reddit, uh, he's been taking a lot of flack for not, um, for not uh, uh, making a game specifically tailored to the people who have opinions, which, you know, it, it's unfortunate that it's, it's part of the uh, development career path these days that that's the kind of thing that you have to field i wish people could just be reasonable and voice their opinions without being ugly about it and yeah had a couple of suggestions we both agree are good things just can't afford to do them damn well is it are they things that they can be down down the road added in case you know if the if the game does really well that it's something that you have room to add later or not yeah, to be fair, the response you've seen from people in the game is like 98% positive, that, and that's great. I, I'm I'm glad that that's the case, you know. And and I've I've always said that. Oh, definitely, cool. Well, I will uh, I will do my little part to to tell people to buy it. For you, it'll probably be the asteroids game. We spent a lot of time on, so you get the last Starfighter mission. Agreed. Last Starfighter. Mm -hmm. I heard when I heard about that, I. I will be honest, it made me giddy to that. hear that that was a thing. Freaking cool. Right, yes. The trolls are mostly people who aren't going to play the game anyway. It's just Twitter trolls, Twitter nonsense. Yep. Agreed. Cloning Travis is not possible. <laughs>
I'm gonna run right into that asteroid. Mission uh, complete. Dun, dun, dun. And the voice now. acting of him talking to himself would be even easier. Yes. Cannot wait for an in-game Gunstar Death Blossom. That would be that would be so sick. <laughs> mm. Just nothing but swarm missiles. I'm just that would be pretty badass. Is entitled. Uh, let's see. Oop. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, those warning. entitled ass gamers can shut their damn mouths. I'm so sick and tired of entitled gamers. Sorry, aggravated at, at idiots. I I completely agree with you, uh, Sergeant. I I try not to let ignorance bother me, but in a lot of cases, I can't help it. Um, but yeah, it's it, it can't be easy to deal with, even if it's just a very small percentage. It can easily crawl under your skin uh, because, I mean, after all, we are all human. It's just, you know, it's not, uh, it doesn't, it's not always easy to just ignore it and blow it off. Um, but, uh, you know, the way that I look at it when Travis is, uh, has said things like that, I'm like, you know, I've, I've responded to him and told him basically, you know, it's, it's a small, a small number. They are in the minority. And, you know, by and large, the people I've seen respond are liking what they see. There you go. You hit the button and it goes to a cutscene and everything dies. <laughs> Let's see. That's something I'm trying to convince to do. We're adding variations to player ships right now. Oh, nice. Oh. Uh. One of the ones we added has a four missile has four missile launcher slots. I'm trying to convince Travis to put some method of ripple firing all the swarmer missile launchers in each slot for some sort of reload penalty or something. Oh my god. Mm, yeah, that would be sexy. That would be sexy as hell. Yep. Okay, so let's see. That's an average risk. Let's go towards this one. I'm just sitting here. Uh, and I, I gotta, I gotta say, being an old guy, as you can tell, okay, I cannot express with words how much I appreciate the Amigo, the 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 DOS boot screens, and all of that. That is just, it's such, it's a little thing, but it is so beautiful. <laughs> it's just, you know, it it's the 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 little details. Is just hmm. that really uh, that ticked a box for me. It really did, you know. Nostalgia, it, yeah, definitely hard nostalgia, and I love it too. Yeah. Yo, oh, I'm gonna ignore you guys and run. <laughs> yeah, it's it's beautiful. I saw that and I let out a little squeak. It was just it's beautiful, just beautiful. It's fun to add, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, I'm, you know, I'm 47, and my very first computer <clears throat> my parents bought was a Xerox 820-2 IBM clone. And so it it's it definitely pulls at the childhood. It, it's awesome. And different loadouts, like different subclasses of class and RPGs. Exiting sublight. Oh. Gotta watch where I'm going. Threat level red. Uh oh, threat level red, huh? Collision warning. It said it was low, low risk. What the hell? Uh oh, and of course my missile launchers are dead. Such a level of detail is just not done in games these days. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and, you know, in a lot of cases, it's it's the little stuff like that that really hooks me. Um, and and you know, a lot of a lot of games these days are looking at, at the big picture and not really looking at, at the little details like that. And it's you know, it's those little details that really check the boxes for me. Uh, I'm getting hosed. These damn fighters all over me. Of course, I didn't. I don't have any missiles left. 
Yes, let me get... Uh, I can pause it. I like that I can pause it. Please feel free. Go for it. And I'll keep... Uh, I'll keep you going there. Oh, I'm a lot of coffees. <laughs> right? Okay, let's go. There we go. You tell me when. I'll just keep uh, keep adding the permission because it, it drops after one. And there's no easy way to just allow a person to unlimited go. Uh, I think the only way that there's... Uh, I think the only way that you have unlimited uh, ability to... to to post links with this chat bot is if you're um, subscribed to the channel, which I'm not, you know, I'm not a sellout and I, I won't uh, ever beg anybody for that. <laughs> I mean, of course, I always appreciate it when people do, but uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's a thing. Okay, let's see here. What do we got? Oh, oh, that's cool. That is cool. Oh, oh and the, the cockpit lid going down and locking it. That's sexy. Oh, that is cool. Hmm. Wow. Oh, gorgeous. Just gorgeous. That is excellent. Yup. Yeah, that's the, the, the system startup in that. Oh, God, that is beautiful. Just beautiful. Starboard shields down. Oh, I'm going to die again. Because I'm lame. I got to try and keep that ship out of range if I can. Oh, oh, more showed up. No, I'm going to die. <laughs> This is supposed to be low, low, uh, 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 difficulty now. Come on. What the hell? <laughs> Get hosed. Risk low. Hmm. Yeah, it didn't pan out that way. You only have room in your brain for one space sim at a time. Yeah, I need pulse turrets. I took missiles because I thought I was going to be, uh, fighting, you know, low risk stuff. I definitely need to get some pulse turrets on this thing. It's gotta be a random high level pirate spawn there, part of the mission. Oh yeah, no kidding. Okay, yeah, 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 definitely. I always forget that uh, that doing a pulse tells you if they're a mission uh, mission target or not. Port shields down. Port shields down. All right. Missiles inbound. Accelerating to sublight. I still think we need to have a uh, uh, a Kilrathi bobblehead, uh, you know, or something that just kind of looks like a Kilrathi. <laughs> not obviously for you know copyright reasons, not exactly. But yeah, I would I would totally be on board for a Kilrathi bobblehead. Down. Given how many different looks Kilrathi have had, that's true. That is very true. They're kind of like the Klingons uh, in the Star Trek universe. They've uh, they've changed their appearance a few times. Do the movie versions make the internet even more upset? Sublight that's true. That's true. Accelerating to sublight. 
<laughs> I did not see the movie. Uh, I um, I don't get uh, I don't get to to see movies uh, too frequently because I live in the middle of frickin' nowhere, and uh, they're expensive. Uh, so <laughs> that would be mean. <laughs> but I have seen pictures like oh, yeah. Don't see it. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Is that it was. Um, really awful oh it was the movie was a lot of fun as long as you don't take it too seriously the music is worth okay i'll have to see if they've got it on uh uh some streaming service somewhere Starboard we've got a couple down. of them Starboard, Reach. yep yeah it's uh I, and pretty much any movie that's based on something that i'm a fan of i always go into it with a mindset that this that they did not make it from what my brain wanted and therefore you know yeah time for you pleasure seeing everyone again see you on twitter hit the bell will do thanks for being here Take care, Sergeant. I appreciate you being. Have a great day. Let's see. Which one of these? Because I know not both of these this are part of the mission. It's that guy. And let's see if I can get rid of the... That gunship. Wow. Let's see if I can get myself out of this. Missiles inbound. Starboard shields down. Don't watch Systems the Sonic trailer. <laughs> Systems critical. Oh boy. Missiles oh, inbound. No, 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 no. Satellite boosters depleted. I gotta try and get rid of those other pirates. Reflectors depleted. Starboard shields down. Missiles Ow. inbound. But I don't want to. I don't want to come about completely and open up that shield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, couldn't get rid of them. Never played Sonic, so you wouldn't know the difference. I did a long time ago. Alrighty, Howie. Have fun, dude. Thank you so much for dropping in. I really appreciate that. You can feel free to follow. <coughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, tell Travis to get back to work. You know. But, uh, but yeah. The uh, I'm gonna Sorry. replace. Oh no! Uh oh! <laughs> I'm sure he's got more than enough to do. <laughs> oh, that's your response. Ah 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 ah! Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I see. Uh, let's see. I want to change out. I'm gonna grab. Um, no worries. <laughs> I'm gonna get. Um. I'm going to change out one of the swarm turrets and see if I can get uh, get a pulse turret on here instead. Because I do like the rockets. Uh, the swarm launcher is good, but I need to mix it up because when they run out of ammunition, that's bad. Baking textures right now, it's a great spot to chat and be productive. Oh, that's cool. So what they, they go in at what, 450 for how long? You about spit your coffee when you heard him say it. <laughs> Gotta go fast. How many times have you gone and test something specific, find yourself playing it a few hours? Um, that is something I can actually uh, uh, shed some uh, uh, a, a position on because... Travis has said a couple of times that he's gone in to do something and just end up playing it. <laughs> it's paint and dynamic weathering stuff, so about 15 minutes each. Nice. <laughs> Coffee is too valuable valuable to be... Wow, words are hard. Able to hold it in. Coffee is too valuable to be wasted on a bad movie trailer. I, I can agree. In fact, I should probably go and refill this because it's cold and sad. Okay, so I'm going to do that really quick now that I've got uh, now that I got blown up for a second damn time. I'm just going to go and refill this. So give me a moment. I will return very quickly. Right. 
So, and uh, these mugs, um, I had uh, Hap made me the, uh, the image for it uh, so that I could put this stamp on my ship in X4, but this is going to, uh, I've got the image for it, and I'm going to slap that on every one of my ships in RGO. Um, let's see here. The game is immensely distracting. Yeah, words are rad. You should try spelling them. <laughs> yeah, I need that help. That's good. Fix the weathering like reapply your paint or something. Oh, you can. Okay, good. Yeah, that was that's a great question uh, because um, that was something that uh, that uh, Travis had pointed out that as you fly your ship, um, you know, once you paint it and everything, and the more the more time you have it uh, in operation, the more the paint dulls and wears down and gets scratched and scraped and stuff like that. And uh, I didn't, I, I had thought about asking about that too, so I'm glad you brought that up. That is a very good question. If you can fix the weathering to reapply your paint, and the answer is yes, and that is awesome. Because, uh, I, I mean, a little bit of weathering, it kind of adds to the flavor of it, because I mean, they would get scratched. They would get beat up in combat and stuff like that. They would wear out. So I might, you know, leave it a little bit worn, but it's good to know that you can replace the whole thing and, and have that. You got a logo you've been using in Battletech. The same reason you turned on cosmetic damage, uh, cosmetic damage off in racing games. Uh, that makes sense. You like a clean ship. Hey, you know, and that's, that is, I, I'm all for it as well, so... But I'm also okay with a little bit of a little bit of wear, you know. And to be fair, it takes a long time to reach max weathering. Okay, but you can in that that monster paint program that you have in there, you can save. Um, so okay, so here's a further question: If you have a in it, because I don't think I don't know if this would work. All right, you have one ship, you paint it up. Can you take that paint job to another ship? Uh, like you know, save it and apply it to a different, uh, to a different ship. Not that it would fit right or anything like that. So I'm, I'm kind of revamping my question in my head. You're afraid not? Okay. <clears throat> so, but it'll allow you to take it into the paint, and like on the same ship, and say, okay, it's weathered, and just remove the weathering. How does that, uh, how does that work out? Because if you can't save. Or, okay, yes, okay, there you go. I'm stumbling over my words, and I apologize. I This is my third cup of coffee today, and I normally have about f five or six by now. The Steiner Fist is a logo, but turn around flipping you off. There you go. That, that works. I like that. You reload your saved paint. Okay, there you go. Very cool. Very, very cool. And then, uh, and forgive me if this is like rewording the same question. Can you save a paint uh, layout for a specific ship so that you can go through multiple, you know, like have multiple different paint jobs for the same frame? You can share paint files right away. Don't need to wait for the mod kit to share paint files, believe so. Okay, cool. Yes, excellent. Very cool. Yeah, because I, I need to put... Uh, this needs to go on my ship. I, I've got to have the Neon Jackass logo um, on, my, on my vessel. Um, and if you don't know the story behind the Neon Jackass, if you type exclamation neon, it will link to a clip. Uh, it's just a little clip where I absolutely lost my ability to function. <laughs> um... Oh my god, so hilarious. It slayed me. Okay. What commodities? Ooh. Hmm. These guys have cheap stuff. Oh, 
Oh, I can only buy one. I don't have enough money. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. Let's see. So I just made a variation of a ship that's pretty heavily influenced by the dragon gun ship from Avatar. So I'm proud of myself for that. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, jackass. Yeah, it was it it was just it caught me completely off guard. The tone in his voice was just hilarious and and yeah, it was fantastic. I had to go play BT to confirm it. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's it slayed me. I mean, I could barely breathe. I was laughing so damn hard. It was uh, it was fantastic. Okay, so let's see. What missions do I still have in here? Uh, let's try because that one that one that one hurt. But it should um, if I as long as I don't draw the random pirate. <laughs> spawn into the mission like I did this last time. I should be okay. Um, let's see. Make sure I don't have anything extra. Okay, I don't. Okay, I did sell it. All right, good, good, good. Let's go. Do that thing. Yeah, and that the the gunship uh, from Avatar. That thing is that thing is pretty. Engines at maximum. I'm partial to the dropship in Aliens, but I'm a bit of an Aliens nut, so that you know makes a lot of sense. It got me killed twice. Yeah, offset cockpit is your jam. Yes. Mm-hmm. I've seen that movie easily a few thousand times, um, and there was a point. Uh, my memory isn't as good anymore, but there was a point where I could, you could, like, ask me, "All right, from th this character said this line. What was happening before, during, and after that line was delivered? What scene? What was the scene? Who was in it?" And I could tell you all of it. Um, not that I really should be proud of that fact, but. Um, yeah. And yeah, the mission did get me killed twice, but I think the reason, I, as it was pointed out, that it was uh, a random pirate spawn that got dragged into it. So I'm going to give it another shot and see what happens. No, I'm not going to the distress beacon more often than not. They're just pirates trying to bait Time me to in. Hey, I'm not a scratching post, little girl. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm not a scratching post. Damn it. Definitely not going to that one right away. Where is it? There we go. We're in the pipe five by five. Yep. Oh my god, let's see. Starboard shields down. It's been too long. Oh my god. I do not have a grip on that. Warning. Yes, cats see humans as servants and scratching posts. That is the truth. Collision warning. I gotta go and watch the movie a couple thousand more times. Yep, yeah, the dropship pilot says it, uh, and it's, um, uh, 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 wow, I can't even remember the, what her name is. Jeez. The name I've got stuck in my head, Pharaoh, F-E-R-R-O, that's her name. Uh, with, um, I wanted her to live too, she was awesome. I agree, I did too. Collision Poor lady. Morning. And uh, the co-pilot, Spunkmeyer, when he stuck his hand in the goo on the railing coming up, and I'm like, oh, that's it. That's it. They're done. Starboard shields down. Why are my starboard shields down? 
Am I taking damage? Oh, the, yeah, that's right. Okay. So I gotta get out of here because I'm getting oh, zapped by electricity in this nebula. Sublight boosters depleted. Accelerating. I think you replaced them all. The asteroids that look like the ones that were in here. Okay. All right. So this time I'm going to attempt to not let one of the Alien vs. Predator games has a mission where you need to sneak onto a ship as a facehugger. That is true. Yes. That mission was a bitch. Oh my god, that mission was so tough. Because as soon as they see you, they light you up. And you're done. <clears throat> they are not at all Hudson. <laughs> yeah, that mission was a pain in the ass. That was a fun game. I, I think it was... Is it the original AVP? I think it was the original. Stubborn shields down. Ouch. Deflectors depleted. Missiles inbound. Mission the walleye playing the alien. Yeah, that was... It. It's... Yes, it made you feel sick. Yep. Accelerating to Larva stage alien. I think one of the... That? Yeah, that could be. But yes, the, the, the walking on walls and stuff. That was very disorienting. Ah, uh -huh. that's part of the reason. Because there are dudes over there that are part of a bounty. Okay, so that mission, I think that completed that mission, didn't it? <coughs> yes, it did. Okay. Well, let's try this one. It's been a long time since I've played them, too. Very, very long time. <clears throat> and then, uh... Colonial Marines. We we don't generally talk about Colonial Marines. But any uh, any serious Alien Universe fan. Um, that played that game probably got uh, just as pissed off about it as I did. It's just a bunch of us old timers in here. Yep, pretty much. Except for Shaw. She's she's probably still lurking back there. She's a youngin, but that's okay. We love her anyway. <laughs> There's an awesome video about how the devs replaced all the live action video with just them because they weren't satisfied with their paid actors. <laughs> Oops. See what happens when I read chat? I get lost. You're a stellar mass. There we go. AVP1. That's crazy. Uh oh. Cats are going nuts. Only 34, not an old timer. No, nope, definitely not. Not to me anyway. I'm 47. So, you know, getting there. <laughs> Youngster. <laughs> yeah, most of, uh, well, one of, uh, one of my, my friends on here, uh, Smishi, uh, she constantly calls me grandpa, so, you know, and she's like, I'm old enough to be your dad, uh, which is just hilarious. 
Uh-oh. Yep, old enough to have grown up without cell phones or the internet, but young enough to be slandered as a millennial. Oh, that sucks. Yep. When uh, I was, I'm I'm older than the internet, and uh, I frequently make reference to the fact that you know when I was a kid, the internet made noise. Uh, you know, because the modem dial up and and the racket that it would create. Thirty-seven, youngin. <laughs> Legend warning. Let me put my teeth in. Oh, come on. I'm 10 years older than you, man. <laughs> I get my walker. Created a new sub-generation. Xennials consists of the last part of Gen X and the first part. Yeah, there's there's kind of like a big gap that should be something else in the middle there. I, I, I kind of agree. I have to agree with that. Okay, so let's go and find out if I can get... Where's the nearest station? Let's go to the nearest station. They existed. They were giant handheld bricks. Oh yeah, and Usenet groups, yep. Yep, yep, yep. 42, never figure out what gen. Uh, technically speaking, you probably fit into the later part of the Gen X because that's where I fit into. Uh, my wife is a cusp baby boomer Gen Xer. Uh, she's uh, she's just a little bit older than I am. I'm just at the tail end of the baby boom, and oh boy, ah, uh, screw you! I'm getting out of here. Oh boy, run! They were after you. Deflectors depleted. Missiles inbound. No, no more missiles. Sublight boosters depleted. Don't kill me. Yeah, I don't want to take on a hammerhead. Not in this thing. Accelerating the sublight. Oh, whew. tired of that stuff they're still calling you a millennial like it's some sort of slur makes no sense pay taxes have a family shit far more in shape than my parents did at my age see there you go yeah and it you know it's it, why be constrained by a label anyway to be perfectly honest gen x was around 1970 to 80s supposedly yeah and and yeah and i'm you know i i don't conform to your labels that's uh that that's the way that i look at it i'm uh i'm me and that's it and my now my son uh is uh he's uh 31 now uh and if you've just done the math in your head i married into uh into having a son um, because you probably just went, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I was 15 and 1700 miles away from his mother when he was born. So yeah, no, that didn't happen. Uh, the, uh, but yeah, so he's, he's 31 and he gets, he gets pretty irritated by being called a millennial as well as if it's some kind of slur. Um, and he's got a great job and he's, uh, he's pretty, um, repairs complete. uh, uh, you know he's he, he's he's got a good head on his shoulders and and he works in IT and he you know he makes a good living and he's got his own car and his own place and his own insurance and all that stuff 
Uh, so, you know, he's got it together. He doesn't think the world owes him a favor, you know. So, that's some, let's see, wouldn't be born around the turn of the century to be a millennial. <laughs> The Tide Pod Gen, yeah, there you go. The Tide Pod Generation, yeah, those things are delicious. No, don't don't do that. Um, <laughs> but uh, he he is this is of the same mind that he doesn't like being called a millennial as if it's a slur. Uh, but he enjoys pointing out the fact that uh, uh, that uh, that I you know kind of have this hipster vibe to me. To which I say, dude, I have been dressing like this like long before there was a niche. Shit. <laughs> which, you know, falls right into the whole hipster thing. <laughs> so we have a good laugh over that. That's a lot of fun. <clears throat> uh, launchers. Oh, yeah, let's see. There we go. Ah. Uh, Got it repaired. Still have nine grand. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, the whole thing is very confusing. Gen TikTok. <laughs> yeah, they're very pseudoscience. Yes, agreed. Because it's not like, okay, if you were born in 1964 up until December 3rd, 30th or you know whatever like come on you know yeah that doesn't it doesn't really work like that and they're generally about 20 year period sometimes more than 20 years gen x is typically mid 60s to mid 80s yeah see and that's um depending on where you look my wife was born in 66 and in some some places she fits into the baby boomer era and in some places, depending on what you're reading, she fits into it. So yeah, it's it's all it's all pseudoscience, as you said. Yep, definitely. We like to think that we can nail it down to something very specific, but that's not frequently the case. Uh, I'm gonna buy a bunch of these because I'm pretty sure that I can sell robots for more than that somewhere else. And I'd like to make some money that doesn't involve me getting my ass shot off. Just briefly. It'd be the most powerful science if they could do scientific experiments. Yes, exactly. Um, brains, 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 brains. Where's my map? Okay. Stellar map. Uh, let's avoid there. Mining rush. I think mining rush is by uh, robots for for more than average. Generation idea might be dying. Sunlight no name has been given to the be. generation your son is in. Well, that's good. I'm sure somebody Those somewhere spirits. will want to. Rod sides. There we go. Uh, brains. Engines at maximum. Now we're going. <laughs> Russia drink more. <laughs> Accelerating the sublight. <clears throat> they got to Generation Z, and the, yeah, they they don't really. They started started with X, so it's like, whoa, you don't have very far to go before you're going to need to, like, rework your whole labeling system. Oops. Yeah, if they were able to blow that thing up, I need to get the hell out of here. Oh boy. 
make a tree and head out. <laughs> Run, forest! <laughs> like, uh, was it, was it from the, I think from the South Park movie, the Canadians are attacking, run for your lives! <laughs> we all look down on them, yeah. Deflectors depleted. X is in unknown. Yeah, it, like, we were supposed to be outside <laughs> Generation AA, that's what Russia needs. <laughs> I think, they, you know, they could start by raising the drinking age from zero. Uh, that would help. Yep. The style of everything in that time frame was bright colors and radical, dude. Yep. That and, you know, the, um, all the side effects of, of the cocaine abuse in the 70s. <laughs> Fiscally responsible generation to take over the world because they saw their parents struggling due to economic downturn. That's it. That is entirely possible. I mean, by and large, we don't seem to learn from our mistakes as well as we should. But yeah, Full Metal Jacket and trench coats before they were banned, right? <laughs> <laughs> Stalking. Yep. Yeah. And I, I personally, I identify more with the baby boomers because I was raised by baby boomers rather than the Gen X, except for when it comes to the music. Um, but I bridge the gap on that because some of my favorite music was made in the 60s and you know, so it's a hard, uh, it's a hard balance to live because I can go from listening to, um, the Beatles and, um, Dylan and Rolling Stones to listening to Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath, uh, you know, so Got to drive. All righty, Riller. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Glad you could hang out with us today. Yeah, The Great Escape, uh, even though it was uh, regarded by one of the people who was there in the, you know, the what the movie was based off of, one of the people in the camp said that it was horrifically inaccurate. It's still one of my favorite movies, too. Um, you know, even with the historical inconsistencies, um, it was a great flick. And if you've never seen it, it's, it's both hard to watch and really good at the same time. Okay. So I paid 700, I think for these. So I could profit off of those. I think as long as I'm profiting off of them, I'm okay with it. Hogan's Heroes is one of your favorite comedies. Yeah, I hear you. That the World War II POW camp. Yes, it's exactly what that is. Aaron, welcome back. How you doing today? Again? <laughs> yeah, it uh, had Steve McQueen in it, uh, and they, they were digging three tunnels uh, labeled Tom, Dick, and Harry. 
uh, and uh, they were. It's a really good movie. Um, it is not. It it was meant to be, you know, kind of like bordering the historical fiction side because it really did ha happen. But according to the people who were there, the American prisoners didn't actually help them do any of it. It was all the the British and the French um, uh, prisoners that were digging the tunnels and trying to escape. And uh, one of the other accuracies is that, you know, I think there were like three people out of the 70 something who escaped that actually made it out alive, but they executed, they caught and executed most of the people who escaped, um, which, you know, of course, ugly. I am going to buy one of those. I'm going to buy a couple of those. And I think that's it. And then I'm going to see where else I can go here. Let me find, uh, find out if there's any, like, really easy missions that I can take. The low ones didn't... Uh, no, not a minor protection. Okay. Because I, I need to earn some money to build up this ship because I'm already getting my teeth kicked in pretty hard. So we'll see where we're going here. McQueen, Bronson, James Garner. I forgot James Garner was in it. I can't. I completely forgot that James Garner was in that movie. No, don't dock. I didn't want to dock. Accelerating to sublight. Engines at maximum. But yeah, the uh, the cast was really good. Uh, I'll go to map and Stellar map. This one is pretty close. And I don't remember what uh, what exactly all of the uh, like the tech boom, what that means for um I was last updated. Uh, like what it does to the buy and sell prices. I can never remember what it all means. But we'll try, we'll go to this uh, trade hub and see what they offer me for this stuff here. You can buy tech stuff cheap at that station. Yeah. Ooh, I'm going Excellent. to the wrong direction. Low tech buy sell prices. Okay. <laughs> and like uh, what the what the there are other ones. Um, so if you get a tech boom, you go there to buy stuff, not sell stuff, because otherwise you'll you know lose money. But there were a couple other ones that I can't remember what they were. It's been a while since I played this. I need to need to remember how to how to do all this again. <laughs> it's been a little bit. And I ended up finding this um, in it was part of a uh, a bundle, mining rush for minerals. Okay, yeah, and that then you you can sell uh, or you can buy minerals cheap there. Um, but the uh, like the economy part of it, I think is that's what I was looking for. Tech famine. There you go. That's the that's the other one I was thinking of. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Guild offices. Oh yeah, I can't do this yet. I think you should be able to sell stuff on a merchant's guild station. <laughs> What was the other the but what the um, the economy type means, like bureaucratic or um, militaristic? Does that have a bearing on the buy and sell prices or not? Manufacturing. Let's go there. 
Engines at maximum. Satellite boosters depleted. sure about those it might affect the type of missions available oh okay that would make sense and I you know I, I got this off of a humble bundle deal and I was buying the bundle for I think galactic sieve and I ended up you know like I I went and looked at at the the some of the the like gameplay videos for this game I'm like oh that actually looks kind of fun I'm gonna have to try that out and I ended up playing this for like days straight um, because it just it grabbed a hold of me and I've put more hours into playing this than I have into playing the game that I originally bought the bundle for so oh, 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 oh. ouch whoops don't fly too close to planets um, because that's bad. <laughs> Exiting sublight. Just guessing. It could very well be. Got this because you were playing Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, and really liked the broadside mechanic. Yeah, I could see that. I liked it because it was different. You know, I mean, I was used to playing things like, um, <clears throat> Elite Dangerous, uh, what other space flight sims have I, have I played recently? I can't think of any that I've played recently. But yeah, it's it's definitely sci-fi is better than the Age of Sail. And I, it has its place. Uh, you know, the Age of, of Galleons and stuff like that, it has its place. But it tends to be pretty slow-paced because, you know, it was in reality very slow-paced. Um, so... But that makes sense. And, uh, yeah, and I when I looked at this, and I'm like, oh, it's not three-dimensional space. Oh, that's kind of... Right, yes. Very well said. Iceberg. Very well said. It was, it was one of those you wished you could go up and down, but it didn't detract from your enjoyment of the game. And right away, that's what I thought. I'm like, oh, two-dimensional space. That kind of, sounds kind of boring. Nope. It, it did not diminish it at all. It, um, I, I found it very enjoyable. Uh, the only problem that I ever ran into was mining was a little, eh. <laughs> but other than that, it, it, it didn't, uh, it certainly didn't kill the game for me by any stretch. So it just took me a while to get used to it. Okay, I don't have any money because I need to sell stuff. Uh, commodities. There we go. That's a profit. That's a big profit. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see if they've got anything fun here. <clears throat> They're probably going to attack me after I pick it up. All right, let's go and deliver your religious tracts. Why not? Um, I can't wait to play 8-Ball. Oh my god, that's going to be so much fun. <laughs> I'm probably going to, like, you know, Engines blow all them. of my time and money playing 8-Ball in RGO. I, I'm dying for that. It looks it looks so good. Because I do have a game, um, Accelerating Pool Sunlight. Nation, uh, which is, a, you know, a, a billiards, or, well, a pool game that... Um, Accelerating that is really good and uh, well the the rebel galaxy outlaw uh, 
pool game doesn't have all of the, the jump, um, the, you know, mass A jump maneuvers and stuff like that that, that Pool Nation does. It seems to have a very similar mechanic in that uh, the, um, like, uh, 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 the mechanics of it seem really clean. Um, and it's, um, it's refreshing because I've played a lot of pool games for PCs and stuff and, and yeah, most of them don't cut it. <clears throat> the pool nation is definitely the best one out of any of the, the pool games that I've played that are just, you know, meant to be standalone pool games. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it's it, it's pretty. The the one that's built into RGO is pretty damn impressive for a game that's not based on and solely for playing pool. Missiles inbound. Deflectors depleted. Whoa. Okay. I have to stop at every single station to win all the mini game ship parts. Yes. And the the Starfighter last Starfighter mission chain. I have to agree. I can't wait for that. That made me giddy when I when I heard about that. It was like really, just to, it's little details, you know. It, it's those little things. It's just amazing. Exiting and I mean that's that is a piece of sci-fi movie history that people my age or around my age know about. But if you talk to anybody, you know, like in their 20s or early 30s, they've never heard of The Last Starfighter mo more often than not. Um, it's just, it's not anything that's popular or well-known. But it was a fantastic movie. And yes, it was cheesy as hell. But that was the beauty of it. <laughs> that it was cheesy as hell. And... and it was just, uh, you know, it was just amazing. It was uh, just such a, a, a great flick. And I've, I've got to get a copy of it. I still don't, I don't own a copy of it. But I need to get a copy of it. Right on the edge of your childhood movie experience. Excellent. I had, uh, I, it was on like, oh God, it was on Showtime back in the day. And I had a, I, I've, you know, of course, had a cassette recorder. I had it on beta. <laughs> we had a beta max. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yep. Beta max recorder. Hell yeah. Ooh, let's buy up that gold and take it back to that other place and sell it. Um... Hmm. Okay. I'm going to be kind of crazy and see if that'll work, if I can sell that for a good, good deal. Remember your cable box had a remote that was an IR, but instead was attached by a wire? Yup, I remember. See, and the, the beta, the Betamax was fantastic because the video quality was better than the VHS. Um, I mean, the, the picture quality was way better. Um, but the VHS lived longer because the tape duration was longer. Yep. And now you can go and buy a, a damn VHS if you can find one. Uh, you can get them for like twenty bucks. I remember when uh, when CD you know CD players first came out, and they were a couple hundred bucks. And now you can or a DVD player, and now you can buy a DVD player for like fifteen twenty dollars at Walmart. <laughs> when they first came out, they were really expensive. It's crazy. Go to your local Goodwill. Yeah, you can buy a, you can buy five, you know a dozen of them for twenty bucks. Yeah, I still have uh, I still have a VHS 
uh, somewhere in the house, and I think it still works. But yeah, they're nobody wants them anymore, <laughs> which sucks because I've got a like a Rubbermaid bin full of VHS movies, uh, but uh, you know nothing hooked up to play it on. Got a PS2 because it was the cheapest DVD player on the market at the time. Yep, that uh, we I think we did that too. And uh, I think we had a game or two for it just because. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it was uh, largely used as a, a DVD player. Uh, what station did I sell that stuff? Is this where I am right now? Engines at maximum. Collision Dun -dun. warning. Niece pulled a cassette tape out of a radio and the ribbon was being pulled out. She thought it ruined it. I told her to go get me a pencil. Life. Yeah, the the look. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Pencil did it. Just put it in there and. Yep. And I'm old enough to remember eight tracks. My parents had a, a car that had an eight track player in it. Um, my one of my friends had uh, had an old uh, 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 Commodore 64 with the the tape deck as the the drive. You know, as the hard drive it had a tape deck hard drive. Um, let's see. My first computer used five and a quarter. This actually, and, and uh, some of the uh, my my regular viewers have heard this story way too many times. I'm sure they're sick of it by now. But uh, my very first PC, Excellent. when my dad and I went to buy it, and for some reason at the time, I just happened to commit this to memory. Um, and I, I guess somewhere in the back of my brain, it thought, you know, you're going to find this really hilarious one day. So remember this. Remember this moment. We went into this little, it was a, you know, little storefront computer shop. And we bought a computer. They, they built one for us. And I remember the guy telling my dad, this PC has a 40 meg hard drive M meg hard drive a 40 meg hard drive and it is more space than you will ever need <laughs> pictures of people putting smartphones in their car cassette players yes indeed Use five and a quarter floppies. Your first PC was a 486 with Windows 3.1. Oh God, I remember Windows 3.1. Got it. That that operating system was such a pain in the ass. Ugh. And see, I remember installing uh, Windows. I remember having to install DOS. I remember having to um, having to install Windows off of uh, uh, three and a halfs, and there were like eight of them or something like that <clears throat> don't let me give you a, let me give you a thing da, 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 da. there you go and it shows it to me so I can uh, I can actually look at it yeah check out this hard drive <laughs> five mag right <laughs> You know, and it's it's nuts because if you think about it, um, the uh, I mean, we most of us have smartphones, um, and uh, yeah, give it a repost if you still got it. There you go, there you go, nice. Um, most uh, most people these days have a smartphone, and the systems in the smartphone that we have these days those computers 
are stronger computers than the ones that we had when we put people on the moon. It is insane to think of the archaic systems we were using at the time that we landed and brought people back from the moon. <laughs> Just crazy. Okay, I did buy these for less than that, so I'm going to get a profit off of it. Um... Pretty sure I bought all of this stuff cheaper than. Yeah, I did. Cool. Several times more powerful than those supercomputers. Yeah, indeed. <clears throat> and uh, you know, I mean, it used to be, you know, back in the back in the '60s, those computers would take up warehouses worth of space, and now they fit into a box this big. Hard to believe our smartphones could be used to send people to the moon in 1960s, but they totally could. <laughs> you know, I mean, the computing power, obviously, you know, it, it, yeah, it's just, it's insane. Absolutely insane. It always blows my mind to think about that. Ooh, we could buy another ship. Let's buy another ship. Let's buy something with a little bit more hull to it, and a little bit more, uh, a little bit more hold. There we go. Get rid of that hammerhead. All right. Uh, and I've only got 594 credits left. So let's go out and do a mission. Engines at maximum. Uh, do I? I don't think. Do I have any missions? I don't. Just that one. All right, let's try it. What's the worst that can happen? Accelerating to sublight. <laughs> I suck vacuum again. That's the worst that can happen. <laughs> Micro SD card back in time to the 50s and tell them that little piece of plastic holds a terabyte of data. Oh, I know, right? Jeez. You know, it, and it's crazy because the hard drive in that old computer uh, that, you know, my dad bought when I was like, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, somewhere around there, you know, was a normal hard drive size. Um, and it was a 40 meg drive. And now we've got... Oops. These. This tiny little, I mean, this is a, a, a receiver. This is a, a you know, a, a receiver for keyboard and mouse. But I have a, uh, I have a USB drive that size. And it is a 16 gig USB drive. <laughs> Finally popped for an M2 drive that looks like a RAM stick. Nice, very nice. You'll buy. All right. Yellow. Dead John. Hey, oh, yeah, I blew this I guy up already. Someone like you Dead might guy. show up. Who sent you? That Sandar. little toad can't be paying you much. Look, this is gonna go bad for you. Pay me 800 credits and I'll make... I don't have 800 you. credits, so... Suck vacuum, loser. Missiles inbound. Shields down. Collision warning. Deflectors depleted. Missiles inbound. Deflectors depleted. Now. Missiles inbound. 
deflectors depleted. There's a warning. Let's drop those shields and then shoot them, buddy. Deflectors depleted. Missiles inbound. And probably be, you'll probably need to build a computer around using those newer format SSDs because they like to take over Mission drive letters complete. instead of using existing, uh, oh, take over drive letters of already existing drives. Ouch. Collision warning. Yeah, I've got a, uh, I put an SSD in this, uh, my son bought me one for my birthday or something a couple of years back, but it's only, uh, it's only a 128. It was Collision warning. a pretty inexpensive one. Um, and uh, rather small, but it was meant specifically just to put my operating system on critical programs like OBS and stuff like that, and then just leave it alone. <clears throat> I know there was an official mod support for Rebel Galaxy, but did anyone ever make mods for it? I don't know. I don't think I. I, I don't believe I've ever looked into it uh, to know if if uh, if anybody ever made mods for it. That'd be interesting to find out, though. Dirty deeds done with sheep. No. <laughs> Still use a 128 gig for your C drive. Having a drive that small helps to keep your OS running smoothly. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and I've got the, um, the that's what mine is. Right, exactly. Since you won't be installing a ton of stuff on that drive, it keeps it from getting... You know, like if you're constantly installing things or adding and deleting things to the drive, it keeps it from getting fragmented and all that stuff. Exactly. That that was exactly my thought on it. And because uh, I was I was talking to him, I was talking to my son at one point and, you know, telling him that I was thinking about picking up a small drive <clears throat> just to use it for the operating system for that purpose. EM2 is a 120 gig and for the OS, that's awesome. I built this one two years ago, I think. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it, it, it certainly wasn't, um, you know, like a, a top of the line thing. Uh, I, I did kind of splurge a little bit on the, uh, the video card at the time. It was, I think it was right after the 1060 uh, came out. <clears throat> that I built this. It was right around the time that the 1060 came out, and I put a 1050 Ti in it. Do a registry clean every once in a while to get rid of old program entries. Yep, it's it's never a bad idea to uh, to keep up on that. In fact, mine's due for it pretty soon, I think. But uh, but yeah, it's um, you know it's one of those things that uh, if you have the ability to have a separate drive. <clears throat> for your operating system altogether, it's always a good idea to do so. Keep it running nice. You should take your own advice. It's been five years. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, I don't think I've done one to this one yet. Um, I don't think I've run a registry scrubber on it, on this one yet. But it's two years old. And in fact, the operating system the the drive that the operating systems on um i did a complete reformat uh and reinstall of everything about a year ago so it shouldn't be too bad yeah can i say the same thing about you she was a smuggler. Why is she leading, leading, bleh, meeting with a militia captain? May take some time, which I do till then. Oof. Uh, 
can I play Spaceborn? I don't, it doesn't sound familiar. I don't think I have. <clears throat> this is the same OS install started as Windows 7, went through 8, 8, 1, and finally 10. You've never had an install last that long. See, whenever I do anything with an operating system, I always fresh install it, just because. Um, and I think that is a throwback to the Windows 3.1, um, you know, Windows 95, Windows 98 days, where if you tried to just update it, you were in for a world of pain and sadness. <laughs> so I think that's just a throwback from, from those days of, of knowing that if you didn't do a fresh install, you were going to pay for it. Yeah. Okay, perhaps to take it off your hands, you could use the cash to patch up this old rust bucket. Uh, I think I'm going to keep this to myself, but let's see. How about you tell me what it is first? Yeah, 3 0 and 3 1 weren't that compatible. Right. It's an early access game on Steam, pretty much like Freelancer. Anyway, the freelancer, oh, well, the developer does alien voices funny. He basically just took voice files and then played them in reverse. Nice. Oh, that's cute. I'll have to take a look. I'll have to take a look at that. Yeah, see, and, and I was working in, I was working in a, uh, in a software shop when uh, the DOS 6.0, DOS 6.2, thing happened. Hmm. I had to deal with a lot of anger on that. <clears throat> and if you don't know what that was, DOS 6.0 was released with some problems. It had some computational problems. And they charged you for the update to fix them. We had to sell DOS 6.2 discs for $4.99. So they released a broken product and then had you pay to fix it. It was adorable. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of people really mad at me for that because I worked in a software shop at the time. And I told them, look, dude, I work here. I don't own the place. I am not... A programmer I am certainly not working for Microsoft your anger is justified but not at me <laughs> yeah, a little secret I gave out so many of those discs it wasn't even funny <laughs> like dude just take it and get out of here go go before I get caught get out of here <laughs> yeah that was uh, <clears throat> that was rough 622 was already a thing when you started using PC using PCs on your own. That's good. That's good. Because it was uh, not fun having to do that. Go bother Orzu again. Okay, don't forget your end of the bargain. Never forget about business. All right. Let's see. Maybe there will be a mission... I'm going to replace my ordinance. Never did get your mouse working in DOS. Yeah, I, I. they said it was something that you could do, but I never did either, I don't think. Repairs complete. Okay, so let's do that. Uh... You gack me. Mm. All right. So I had to be an IRQ con conflict, but I didn't know what that was when I was. Yeah, I I still am a little shaky on all of that stuff. Um, I'm I've built I've built so many uh, so many rigs. It's not even funny, but I'm real shaky when it comes to uh uh irq conflicts and stuff like that i really don't i don't dig into the registries unless i have to and thankfully i haven't had to in a very long time 
It was a Windows 95 thing. It could be. Ugh, those are just today. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, I don't like mucking about in the registry. I wanted to see if there was a mission I could take here. Juno border ambush. Nope. Do not want to help them. Yeah, there's things that uh, things that you've forgotten how to do because of plug and play alone. Yes, agreed. Had to do a hex edit on the X Wing EXE to get it working on your current computer. That's um that makes sense. Yeah, that's um I've run into I've you know I've I've gotten I've got a uh, uh, a copy of Privateer. I've got a, uh, copies of Privateer 1 and 2, and I still have the, the boxes for them. Um, and I think uh, quite a few years ago, uh, on a Windows XP machine, I tried to get them to run on it. And, nah. Of course, one of them, uh, I think the first one, was on 3.5-inch discs, and Privateer 2 is on a CD. And I couldn't install the first one, and I couldn't even try installing the first one because <clears throat> it deletes everything you said. Oh God! Oh, that's balls. Yeah, I'm, I for some reason the the bot this bot does not like doing anything like that. It, it I wish I could get it to just delete the last, you know, or suspend the last thing. But this bot doesn't do that, and it's it's such a pain in the ass. <clears throat> Sadly, it's the better one of the other ones that I've tried using. So, yeah, it's uh, the xwing.exe. It read it, of course, as a link because, yep, it's such a pain. Uh. Let's see. This one's not too far away. We'll go ahead and take that one. I don't like the protection missions without a big ship that I can go in and lay waste like because they usually blow up what I'm trying to protect before. <laughs> no hard information yet. I feel like I need a bath. <laughs> yeah, a researcher like Sandar is a businessman? Well, on the Bashe, Randori Santra, Las Laibotu, Anadish, Randobri, Bondo Stasham, Hundo Lapranto. All right. Gando Seya. Thank you, thank you. Engines at maximum. Accelerating. Start playing TIE Fighter again. I don't relish going through the process of getting 3D acceleration and game music to work. Yeah. That's the problem with a lot of the, uh, a lot of older games is that <clears throat> they're harder to run. Yes, yes, indeed. In fact, uh, for quite some time, I was thinking about keeping, um, because I've got I've got so much spare computer gear around here, old computer gear, that wouldn't even remotely keep up to the stuff that you know is is released today. But I was thinking that I should uh, you know revamp one of those rigs, get a get a monitor, just find a cheap monitor somewhere, nothing widescreen because nothing of the nothing of the uh, the ancient era of uh, computer games would utilize a widescreen and just set up a Windows 95 um, rig uh, just to run some of that older stuff. But I don't have a place to put it. Should set up a Windows 98 to run 90s games? Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you've got the space and you've got the equipment to do it, why not? And that way you don't have to mess with it. You wouldn't even have to hook, hook it up to the internet. You know, you could you could just wire it into your local network so that you can run off of other drives. 
done. <laughs> so what is the release date? Just kidding. I'm guessing that the release date is sometime after now and sometime before uh, uh, Star Citizen releases. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that an open wound for anybody? Because, um, you know, we all know when that's going to release. <laughs> I think 98 would be the better choice since it should run old DOS through 2000. Yeah, exactly. Accelerating the yep. No, I mean, 95 Exit wouldn't be a bad choice because 95 was a pretty stable operating system as long as you don't hook it up to the internet. Um, but 98 was probably... Because uh, Windows XP was supposed to be able to Stalking. run all of that older stuff, but let's be honest, it did not do a very good job of it at all. Um, and that I ran into that issue, um, you know, like I was saying, when I tried to run uh, Privateer 2 on an XP machine. Mm -mm. No. And uh, there was no way to slow down the computing because it ran... Right, and DOS was emulated in Windows XP. It didn't actually run a proper... Right, exactly, because it was emulated. Um, and with it emulated like that in XP, when I installed... And, and I, it would run... Uh, it, it ran Privateer 2. It ran it, it, it ran it a little too well. Because you... Like, uh, you know, I had an old, uh, an old flight stick. And you just, like, slightly tap back on the, on the stick... And the game was running so fast that you just go, <laughs> it was insane. Like, ah, uh, I need this to slow down somehow, but I'm not smart enough to figure out how to make that happen. But I mean, the, you know, ships are zipping. It was like basically, it, it, it basically ran everything in fast forward. Um, and, you know, you can imagine playing a, a game like that would be relatively impossible. It was nuts. Um, let's see. Had that happen in Descent before the newer versions released? That makes, yeah. It, I've had it happen with a couple of games. I don't remember all of them. I don't remember what I tried to run, but I remember thinking, oh, that's not going to work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I've got a pretty, I've got pretty quick reactions, but. Mm -mm. <laughs> that is not going to do it. Let's try this one. I'll take both of these because I think I should be able to to do them. <clears throat> okay, I'm still supposed to go there. Engines at maximum. Accelerating to satellite. Mm -mm. No, no distress beacon. Thank you very much. Those have a strong tendency to be ambushes. Collision <laughs> warning. 
Sent to is the game we got you to upgrade video card in your 486DX266 to a 3D accelerated video card. <clears throat> but the S3 Verge 4 Meg Diamond Stealth, I think I had one of those. I wonder if an early Pentium 3 would work. Probably. Let's see. parents were not very happy when you found out that you popped open the computer to put the video card in, first upgrade you Exit ever did. Sunlight. Nice. Collision warning. Enemy craft inbound. Front level, yellow. And in the 90s when there was very little information on how to do it, yep. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, it was scary uh, to do that kind of stuff the first time I ever, I ever tried it. In fact, uh, I had a friend that recently built a brand new computer, and uh, and she was really scared to do it. Uh, she had never built one before. I'm like, look, it's terrifying when you think about it. It's it's very scary because you know you're thinking, oh God, if I break something, if I put something in wrong, if I do da 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 da, like it won't let you. It won't let you do it wrong because there's a very specific slot for every specific thing on the on the computer you're not going to be able to put something in wrong um and and uh it it's just it doesn't work that way um you're you'll be fine and she was terrified to uh to build this thing i'm like you know the sad thing is the scary thing is once you get done building your first rig you're going to turn the whole thing on, you're going to start installing your operating system, and you're going to go, my God, that was so easy to build it, to physically put all the parts together. And it is. It's really, really simple. Um, it's just really intimidating to do the first time you do it. And I've built, God, maybe two dozen rigs over my lifetime now for me and other people. And, I mean, I don't even... I don't even really think about it anymore. It's like, oh, I got to go into my computer and clean it out. Pull it all apart, Mission clean it all complete. out. Release. <laughs> See, now, if you give me a date, I will put in a command for it, like, right now. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, because in uh, in the Rebel Galaxy stream, there's a... Uh, in their their Twitch channel, there's a release command, <laughs> and it says, "No, not yet. We'll tell you in the future. Piss off." <laughs> not, I'm paraphrasing, but that's basically what it says. If you think your own game is distracting, how do you think we all feel, right? <laughs> Indeed. And you get to play it. We're hard at work. Oh, I'm, I, of that I have no doubt. It shows. It really does. Uh, I mean, for something that looks so incredibly polished and um, and and so clean and packed full of things to do, it's it's crazy to think that you have like five people working on it full time. And would you say three three other people that you contracted? That's insane. And it looks. Mm, it looks so good. Can't wait. Cannot wait. Willing to wait, but can't wait, if you get my meaning. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What do I got for missions left? These double jack harriers. Okay. Three other artists on and off. That's amazing. <laughs> A figurative can't load it up. You gotta you gotta be very careful. If I do play it, it's for at least a half an hour. <laughs> I can imagine. It's like, uh, see, one of those one of those games, uh, a game that is like that for me uh, is like uh, Civilization, any of the Civilizations. You can't just load it up and play it for a little bit. It's always that, okay, one more turn. Okay, well, one more mission. All right, well, I'll do this one thing and then I'll stop. And then, you know, four hours later, it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> I was supposed to have gotten up and, you know, made dinner and done dishes and laundry and, eh, hell, we'll find something to eat somewhere. 
uh, Demolition Man is on HBO. <laughs> nice. Civ keeps you up all night. Yeah, it's definitely. Mm -hmm. Travis should do a stream pointing out all the stuff that isn't done so he can just point to what people, point to that when people ask for dates. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to another stream. Any, uh, I, just out of curiosity, and, you know, I understand. I understand where you are. Please don't take this as a salivating, gimme, gimme, gimme kind of question. But is there any plan to do another sound test at any point in the future, near future? Wouldn't be surprised. Excellent. Because even though it's not a complete, um, you know, it's not a complete fix, it's like a, a little, like a little baby dose <laughs> to get, uh, to get uh, a stream. Yeah. He'd likely give a little heads up. Cool. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Don't even call it a game launch. Just say you're doing a sound test. Yes. Yep, indeed. Just a sound test. <clears throat> okay, so this one is a little closer to me. We'll hit that one up. Yeah, he wanted to show off the mining, the mining system. He can call it a, a breaking rocks. He was a couple cups in when he tried to do mining. Yeah, and see, my buddy Hap was a bad enabler because he's also uh, a whiskey drinker. And so, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's an enabler. A terrible enabler. <laughs> Actually, no, he's really good at being an enabler. I should Look correct myself on that. Accelerating to sublight. But yeah, I've, I've, I've loved what I've seen so far. <clears throat> it really, uh, really is looking fantastic. So anytime he feels like doing another sound test. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> that's a cargo container. Let's go and check out what that's all about here. It's sometime this afternoon, so definitely. Nice. Or you can give the general answer that I give whenever. It's got to be noon somewhere. And there sublight you go. boosters depleted. Exiting sublight. Missiles inbound. Deflectors depleted. Nope. Oh. <laughs> you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. That's true. Collision warning. <laughs> you sound like an alcoholic. Well, hell, I uh, I used to tell I, I worked um, I worked a night job, uh, graveyard shift, uh, restocking a grocery store back in my youth, and I was still living with my folks at the time. I think I was like twenty something like that and uh and i'd get home from work and i'd pop open a beer and it's you know 6 30 7 o'clock in the morning and uh my mom would ask me how in the hell can you drink so early in the morning or how you know how can you be yeah how can you be drinking so early in the morning i'm like because i'm not home at six um <laughs> you know but uh, yeah, I, you know, eventually I got them to understand because it's night to me. 
You know, it, it's, it may be 7 o'clock in the morning for you, but I just got out of work after an 8, 8 and a half, 9 hour shift. So to me, it's like 5 or 6 o'clock in the evening. I sleep during the day. So it, uh, you know, it took them a little bit to understand that. But, you know, then I made a joke out of it. You know, how can you be drinking at 9 o'clock in the morning? Because I'm not waking up at 6. So, that was fun. Okay, so let's go over here and get these guys. Yeah, it it was it was good. Uh, I enjoyed working nights like that uh, because you know it was it was always um, when most people are already asleep and you know the. The place wasn't packed. It was usually just the the bar uh, bar crew that would show up late at night and so on. But <clears throat> the thing that I hated about it is that it ruined my ability to sleep at night for like a year and a half after I quit that job. Yes, the management is sleeping. It's always good. Yes, indeed. Or do these Oh, you're gonna kamikaze me, huh? Uh oh. So let's go back to that waypoint. <clears throat> yeah, actually, there's a station right here. Kukui Station. <laughs> All right, repairs needed. 111 bucks. Repairs complete. Refill ordinance. Sitting on 20 grand. Did I pick up anything? Oh, I did. Yeah, why not? Oh, well, that was good. Uh, ooh, that's cheap. Mm. Hey, Hap. Everything. You missed it all. Uh, everything at all. Uh, how, did your, uh, how did your outing go? Yeah, those jobs didn't have much in the way of promotion or wage increase. Yeah, thankfully I worked for um, the the company that I worked for was really really good uh, about taking care. It still is actually. It's one of the I think like top five companies to work for in the country, um, and they are they are just they were fantastic. They paid me above minimum wage to start out with and gave me raises every six months. Yeah, got some stuff done, but the weather turned horrible. It got colder and it rained. Yikes! And we got uh, we got pelted uh, with a really heavy rainstorm here last night. Uh, it was raining probably from mid afternoon all the way until about midnight, which is good because you know living in the mountains, we really need a ra we need we need the rain. We need a raise too. That's what I was about to say. You got your first raise at Home Depot at 10 cents an hour. Put your two weeks in the next day. <laughs> wow. Yeah, my first uh, the first job that I had, uh, first real job that I had was working in a um, in a craft shop. Uh, in a uh, with the the craft shop had all kinds of different departments. It was a mom and pop shop, but they sold um, radio controlled cars, boats, and planes. And I worked in that department. And the first raise I got there was uh, t a 25 cent raise, and it blew my dad away. He's like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, the convo was turned away from the game pretty frequently. Oh god, Hap, don't get me started. 
Don't get me started. He's a moron. How about that? <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Did I say that out loud? I said that out loud, didn't I? <laughs> okay. So uh, ceramic plating is, is cheap here. Uh, where's Sarg? He's probably at work. Um, but yeah, he, he has no problem with voicing his opinion. Let's get this party started. <laughs> okay. Uh, mission board. What am I looking for? Available missions. Uh, Mop-up operation. Soy paste delivery. Let's go ahead and deliver that. And then maybe pick up um, some stuff to go with it here. What can I buy? buy that that's not cheap enough I'm not buying bio waste first job was at Walmart 425 an hour first raise is 625 because they raised starting pay shortly after that's cool that's very cool yeah and it's still not enough to live on but yeah what can you do I remember my first job was yes he's in it, I was in fact that's weird Hap I was just talking uh, about how uh, how you were and you were enabling uh, Travis to drink more uh, whiskey uh, and uh, how much of an enabler you are Some and how good at it you depleted. are and you're also a very good instigator. That's very true. Accelerating to sublight. Collision warning. Quite right. He said he was going to drink whiskey and then he didn't drink any more whiskey. I know, right? You had to step in. Indeed. But you see, we're blaming you for why we didn't get to see uh, uh, mining, uh, the asteroid mining. Sublight. Whiskey police over here. Yep. Yep. Hap is the guy. If you need somebody Sublight to encourage you to drink, you just talk to Hap. He'll encourage you to drink. You can read into that however you want to. Oh my god, yes. A bobblehead of Travis wearing the Hello Kitty hat. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. I completely agree. I clipped him in that hat. I got a clip of the stream with him wearing that. It's like you get to see me in this hat dancing. Pretty cool. <laughs> the squid hat, however. Yep, that's true. That's true. <laughs> they're just not all gonna, yeah, they're not gonna all get in there. Yep. Uh oh. All right, I can probably take this thing out. Haha. Uh -huh. Really? Yeah. Accelerating to sublight. I'm bugging Travis about adding the fuzzy dice. Yes, the fuzzy dice. That's got to be a thing. Uh, fuzzy eight balls. If it can, if it can be worked. That I think it fits because you have a pool game built into the thing. You could even, I don't know if, you know, I, I understand that nothing about game development is easy. Uh, but if it would be uh, even remotely possible to have that be a uh, an award, they're already there in the art sword. Oh, nice. Um, and, you know, have that be a reward for playing, for winning so many games of 8-ball, that would be perfect. Uh, it's just fine. Travis finding the time to do it. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. And as you've said already, he's got a pretty full plate as it is. Exiting sublight. 
Mission complete. Obviously, they're high priority items. Yeah, yeah, bobbleheads. <laughs> Not so much. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. But it makes sense. It's okay. Okay, let's go in here and see. Uh, I might hang on to those and sell them <clears throat> at a better, better rate somewhere else. off of it okay we'll try that shield windshield wipers in the game <laughs> <laughs> yeah for when you you know when you blast through a pilot that ejected so that you can <laughs> get the the smear off of the windscreen that's uh that's brilliant You had a plan for that? Oh, really? Oh, no kidding. That's excellent. Mech Warrior Online can be criticized for how they go about doing it, but they have a ton of, real, of cool cockpit items. Nice. Ships would leak oil? Oh, my God. Oh, that had to be such a wicked effect. That's, uh, that, that had, yeah, fell by the wayside. That would, that's understandable. I mean... You've got uh, you've got plenty of really good eye candy type stuff in there. You had an art test, knew how to do it, but other things got in the way, and yep. You know, the important uh, the importance uh, the checklist of importance. It, a lot of that kind of stuff, it's like, oh, it'd be really cool if we can do this, but we have more pressing things that, like the eyeballs sliding off. Oh, God. <laughs> that would be so sick. <clears throat> uh, well, maybe one day. Maybe one day. That'd be pretty slick, I, I gotta say. That would be pretty slick. Okay, so I only got the researcher. Very squish. <laughs> nice. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's go and see about this other mission. Agents here. at maximum. Accelerating to sublight. Actually, I'm going to land at that, sta that other station because I think the custom waypoint will land there. Juno's VO line. That one was strawberry flavored. Oh, <laughs> oh. <Buh. laughs> oh God. <clears throat> nice. Accelerating to I have the old set of ROTT games installed. Wow, no kidding. Nice. Oops, that there was a thing right there. Oh well. I still have, speaking of still having and old games. I still have the gold box sets completely intact of the old um, uh, uh, Dungeons and Dragons games, um, Forgotten Realms and Dragonlance. I still have all the gold boxes for all of those, and you know they all. Um, Run, they're all uh, uh, either 
uh, five and a quarter or three and a half. So I, you know, couldn't even hope to install them. Not that any current computer would run them anyway. <laughs> Oops. You are. Still love the flip of the dumb fire missiles. Nice. Yeah, some of that stuff, like the, you know, sound effects and stuff from old games that, that really stick with you. And, you know, anytime you hear a noise that is even slightly like it, you go, ah, bah. You know? <laughs> Got a spare C64 floppy reader I could send you. <laughs> of course you do, Hap. I have, I actually have a, a three, uh... Uh, I have a three and a half inch drive. I'm pretty sure I have a five and a quarter inch drive somewhere. Pretty sure I do. Whether it works or not now, I'm not sure. But you got a spare C64 you can spend. You can send. Yeah, that. No, it's okay. You you. It's okay. I, I appreciate the offer, but no, that's just no. <laughs> Woo, there we go. There's some money. Holy smokes, yes. I will take it. Nice, about almost up to 50 grand. Uh, let me take a look at something here. Let me check something out. Oh, there we go. Um, so Rin is playing uh, Lego Star Wars, and I just noticed it's four o'clock, and I do have to get on out of here. But if you would guys, if you guys would be willing to stick with me, uh, Rin is playing the Lego Star Wars series, and let's go and raid her because she is awesome and um, a really, really, really cool person. And um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue this tomorrow, um, be around at the normal time, noon, uh, and, uh, and go. Important question. Okay. Shoot, Hap. Did you win at pool last night? I didn't get to play last night. I didn't get to play last night. We had to go out to town and pick up prescriptions and stuff like that. Yeah. But I've been kicking his ass the last three times that I went over there, so it was it, it was likely that if I had gone, I'd have kicked his ass again. <clears throat> Blame Mrs. Ass. Yes, exactly. Um, but uh, but yeah, that was good. Well, thank you guys very much for being here. Uh, special thanks to Howie for putting up with all the questions about when's it going to release. Uh, I love your work, dude. Keep up the fantastic, fantastic stuff. Um, and, uh, we're going to go ahead and raid, uh, Rin, uh, tell her that market sent you cause she is pretty awesome. And, uh, I will be back tomorrow with more RG gladly. Yes. Um, till, uh, let's see. Yes. Till tomorrow. Get off my lawn.